Oh yeah, New Year's Eve tomorrow. Or as I like to call it, the one day a year where normies drink as much as I do on any given Wednesday. Screw off. I got a problem. Whatever, bastard. Cheers. Did you guys ever see, um... I know you had to have seen this, the two goth girls being like, we're here to celebrate the new year. <laughs> where they're like dunking on people who celebrate New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Get the same vibe with my friend Brendan right here. Just gonna say one thing. The biggest difference between any of you and me is I don't feel guilt and embarrassment. I c Huh? <laughs> I could kill a baby and walk around like nothing happened. In other words, I like that the picture, the, the, the picture that's included, it's blurred out, but you can clearly see it's one of those shots where it's like the nose up. <laughs> he was just holding his phone and took the pic. In other words, I wouldn't feel guilty about ruining your life. You like to run? I'll shatter every bone in your legs. You like to write? I'll shatter every bone in your arms. It's just a tip of advice. Don't piss me off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take it seriously. It's pretty sure this guy whispering it because his mom's asleep in the next room. So... <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna even try to think about what the article is. Just Ben Shapiro replying with, Gross. You want some blood? Come get some soy boy. Need I remind you that most of us dress up in full camo, sit in the trees and hunt live game that can see, smell, and hear better than any humans. Yes, my wife got me a shirt that says Mommy's Little Princess, but that's beside the point. Soy boy. The only news source I follow is Paul Joseph Watson. <laughs> I'm 12 years old, and I could skin a rabbit in under 30 seconds. This guy's gonna run back to his boyfriend. <laughs> Amateur. Facts. Oh no, we have another extreme case of defensive testosterone. I have friends that are very ardent and dangerous that are afraid of me. No heat packing for me. Laugh until I'm crying, fire, angel fire. Like the post. On a good day, I'm fast than a speeding bullet. A Japanese guy taught me how to take a person out with a simple ballpoint pen. <laughs> Sorry, he watched John Wick once and he thinks he's a superhuman. I also have extreme anger issues. Last one. My girlfriend packs my heat and never leaves my side. I love bad B symbol asterisk symbol HZ. And he's from Texas. You can tell because he's got the cowboy hat emoji. If he loved you, he wouldn't have gotten you a Glock. Dot dot dot. You fire an entire clip at me at you might hit three times. Three shots from a Glock has it taken me down. You sure? No, no, you think you're like an anime protagonist? You think Star Platinum's got your back? He doesn't. He would never have your back. <laughs> you wanted a war. Well, now you have one. Frickin' idiot Trump supporters. I will walk down any person who still supports that orange idiot. And while you have one there with MAGA, like the, like the pelicans and Finding Nemo, instead of mine, it's MAGA. Screw you and crush your little head. Well, did you by the profile picture, it has a little head, but that's still mean. We're not, we're, we don't fight violence with violence, we fight violence with mockery. That's how we do it. That's how we do it on the MK channel. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a kid with him. Cry me a river, then frickin' drown yourself in it. Let me take my daughter to the Walmart. Everything he says is facts. The problem is 95% of men, especially this new generation, are beta c ucks. This is exactly what the feminist agenda is. They want to get rid of all alpha men, like myself, so they can further push their agenda. No, I do not like Ezra Miller. He wears a dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I know Krav Maga am a former IDF soldier. I could break your bones in under a minute. I'm six foot four, 250 pounds. I would shatter your teeth with one kick. My chest hair probably weighs more than your body. Oh, I am very badass. Post it there. I dare you. Bitch, you don't have the guts to double dare me. I freaking dare you to double dare me. Man, I'd manhandle you easily in real life. You're looking at the anonymity of Reddit. I'm very badass. And then we laugh at him. I stopped fighting my inner demon. Now we both in one. Hashtag demon, hashtag darkness, hashtag inner demons, hashtag goth, hashtag evil eye, hashtag hatred. Oh, let's do a COVID check. Is he staying safe? There's a mask where he's staying safe. He's good. All right. I say beat up a liberal month movement, and he identifies as a cyber truck, so who's with him? Too late. It's already begun. Two down, many more to go. Huh. Crap, that third limb was a bit tough, but he ain't got no more teeth. I just beat the hell out of someone who downvoted me. Sweet victory, I made him confess. Each downvote is more a punch in the eye of a liberal. Smile. The post wasn't edited, so he just... He, someone downvotes you on Reddit and he knocks on your door real hard. Sucker punches you and leaves. 
that edits his comment with, just beat the hell out of someone who downvoted me. Sup, Reddit. So I had an epiphany. Don't run me off the road when I'm doing 120 miles per hour and you're doing 65 miles per hour. Cause if I have to time to follow you, I'll kill you. I mean, you're already trying to kill yourself. You're going 120? I don't know a road that goes 120. How did you get ran off the road when someone's doing 65 and you're going over 40 miles faster? My physique is all the weaponry I need. I work out hard every day and have been for years. Through the day, some young guy is in my backyard trying to steal my wheelbarrow. I stepped outside with no shirt on, just stood there and stared at him. He simply slowly backed away to the gate, looking at me in pure terror and left. I moved to the gate and watched as he ran as fast as he could down the street. My guns were all the guns I need. I have two, lefty and righty. I'm offering up these hands for sale, cash in, cash in, cash in, to any that feels the need or nerve to say a single word to me about a mask. Raise hand shrug. Say something to see how I respond. Hey look, you said these things are for sale, but I'd rather trade, buster. And that's when we get into an epic street fight. Uh, I'd rather the $600 stimulus over the $2,000 one. It'll make me hustle harder. I don't know. And yeah, just built different. Is this LLC Twitter? I don't like LLC Twitter. I am an influencer with a verified public account, mate. People idolize me as I'm some sort of savior to them, but I am not. I find it demeaning that people only support those in the spotlight. Trust me, I know. The moment someone says something that contradicts that, you think then the love will turn to hate? Trust me, I know. I have six YouTube channels including Darman. He's the Darman! <laughs> The relaxing end, the do. He's the do as well. I don't reveal my identity because I don't want to know how people would treat me in, uh, in real life. <laughs> Believe me, people have changed what they've said about me after knowing who I am. So either rethink that snarky comment or don't insult other people, okay? Jeez. Darmen have feelings too. I am a hashtag otaku, not a hashtag weeaboo. If you can't tell them apart, then maybe I can't tell killing you and not killing you apart. Hashtag I own a katana. Oh. <laughs> People who like, oh man. It's like that kid in middle school. You know, I'm talking about that one kid who didn't talk to anybody, had no friends, except for his two cronies who also were just as, you know, just as weird as he was. I wonder what they're up to now. Hope they're doing well and didn't turn out like that guy. Comment on my hometown's Facebook page. This is in response to a post about an elderly woman accidentally walking into the wrong house. Scary. Hopefully they can find out who this is and talk to them. Hey, sorry for the language. She's gonna screw around and come into the wrong house. Someone I don't know steps foot inside my house and you won't be reading about it on Facebook. You'll be reading an obituary. It's an old woman who walked in on accident. Ooh, a killer. Kinky. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Kinky? No, clinky. Put him in the clink. Throw away the key, eat the key. Like Jerma did. Same with me. Only those with a death wish would dare to go up against me. I have bigger balls than most men and know how to handle myself in a fight. <laughs> Even my husband's been put on his arse when he have sparring. Let me not to mess with you. Black Friday is your day and you're gonna get that TV. Or else you'll kill me. Ugh. Ugh, I hate this optical illusion. Oh. <laughs> Where's this guy looking? Front or side? Ugh, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Well, he better be looking both ways when my fist is swinging. Wait, why? How your fists do that. If you ever ask to speak to the manager and this guy walks out, just say thank you and leave. I sold that. I'm gonna show him why I don't piss off your best customer who also happens to be a psychopath. And will cry and laugh at the same time while beating the crap out of you and stick your head in the deep fat fryer. That doesn't look like it's a part of their delicious special. Screw this mask and the cocksuckers that require it. <laughs> but you're still wearing it. <laughs> I hate how weak and feeble people can be nowadays. Stop playing Warcraft and go outside, says the guy on Reddit while watching a video of a guy who's outside. If only you knew my lifestyle, that you would agree. This guy has a different level of pathetic. Go outside, go on goose hunting today. If interested in how it goes, just reply, thanks. We really could really use a friend right now. She was protecting her young. She was acting as intended. The guy roar was so weird it made me laugh my ass off. I did a better roar than him. I scared the living hell out of a coyote in 2019. My roar was so deep I heard the coyote running with his balls between his legs. Well, where, where else would they be? I think you mean tail. I mean, naturally the balls would... All right, you know what? All right. Oh, Tyler, no. I kill people I like. Some of them beg for their life. I don't feel sad. I don't feel anything. 
In fact, I don't even feel. What am I touching right now? The stupid things I do to protect an ex's name along with any girl I run I used to run with. And if you say anything about the girl I'm dating, kiss your ass goodbye. I've gotten in a total of 75 fights in the last four years. I've counted. Because someone talked crap about people I cared for and when I lose, I made sure they learned because they would be beaten just as bad as I was. I just passed out first. But I picked my battles. I defend those who I love and care for. It's that simple. The things I do for love. <laughs> Oh, dude, come on. Don't go posting your muscles and your trap muscles and your biceps all over Twitter. I'm a 260 pound corn bed soldier that breaks punching machines at bars for fun. I'll gladly take on any 125 pounder. I'll also take on a quarter pounder with cheese, please. <laughs> a little advice. You live longer not pissing me off. You sound like a waste of space, bruh. Real pussified ass, dude. Sorry to piss you off, random YouTube commenter. I'll be sure to keep myself in check. Anyone else rip their mask off when they get into the car like they just finished a disappointing surgery on Grey's Anatomy? Wait, you wait until you get into the car? I'm taking that thing off when I step outside. Half because I'm hoping some douchebag says something and I can unleash a year's worth of rage. And also, I'm just sopping in sweat. So much sweat in that mask. I'm drowning in here. <laughs> Must be all that rage pent up, making me sweat. That's why I carry my piece everywhere I go. I got my CCW. So in case you want to screw with me, say hello to my little friend. I knew I learned that from a movie. Oh, scary. I'm so scared. Oh, ah, ah, scary, spooky. <laughs> So I walked into a store and the lady was like, you can't come in without a mask, blah, blah, blah. While she sat with her arm propped up on a box of masks. I asked if I could have one and she looked at me like, boo. <laughs> Okay, I'll take my chances with security. Yeah, have fun getting escorted out, idiot, moron, loser, idiot. Ah, uh, another sheep. So many of you on Reddit these days. Not to brag or anything, but 2020 was a great year for me. Made more cash, cash, cash than you could ever imagine. Had sex three times a week and didn't wear a mask once. <laughs> I wonder why. Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> uh, he's... Got 59 downvotes, no one likes them, and one a wholesome seal. A smoke detector that stops beeping if you say no please has been a misunderstanding. I have wonderful news. There are already smoke detectors that can tell when you screwed up and burnt your beans and when there's an actual fire. No ads, so do some research. I have wonderful news too, I'm gonna kick your ass, buddy. <laughs> LOL, I love it. Even funnier if it weren't literally impossible. I'm sorry. I'm a professional fighter and I teach actors how ancients fought with primitive weapons. Love you all. Mwah. He's snarky. <laughs> He's really snarky. MF, think you can snitch on me? You funny ASL. I'll find you, trust me. You best hide while you can. You ain't safe nowhere. I'm coming for your ass now. I'm so scared. I'm terrified. Shiver me timbers. In my personal experience with someone bothers you like this is to strangle them with a guitar string after you strangle for about 40 seconds, they'll stop bothering you or anyone else. Oh, hey, thanks for the tip. I'll make sure I do the same thing next time. You weirdo. I love when people try me. I just love it. I just love it. Listen, I have years worth of pent up anger and I will unleash it and ruin you with ZE-RO hesitation. Oh, he's saying zero. Stupid. Try me, smile. Okay. <laughs> These are the people that say try me then flinch when you fake a punch. They get the two for flinching. If I ever see you or your father walking down New York City street, you're getting knocked out. What do you do? You didn't do anything, you're just a guy. There is no greater example of beta behavior in modern culture than the promotion of vaccines. Literally all diseases are crushed when you're sub 20% body fat. No, no, that's too hard. Give me a get out of jail free card. Let me keep my trash habits. Okay, weakling. Hey, listen, when I'm in the cold, I don't gotta wear a jacket because of my body fat. Loser, idiot, moron. You and your otter body. First of all, you don't need anything. Second of all, the answer is neither. I do not support or condone. And third, who the hell do you think you are talking to? You're a frickin' civilian peon nobody, and you think you can tell people how to frickin' answer the stupid stuff you say? I'm a Marine who's worked over three different security duties and worked as a bouncer for over nine years for fun. People are lucky I'm less violent in my age. Smuh. Entitled weak asses, lumfow. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for your non-violence. I tend to carry a concealed weapon. Yes, I have a permit. A random unexpected slap at my switch or anything, really. 
while I'm playing and I could see myself interpreting that as a physical attack slash threat and it could go very bad very fast. I just could see myself engrossed in Animal Crossing, unaware of my surroundings, then that slap happening taking me completely by surprise. I don't mean to be, I don't mean this to be aw slash I'm very badass material, more as a comment on just how risky invading someone's personal space like that can be. Please don't downvote me, I'm not very badass, please stop! But they downvoted him anyway. Too raw for peace with society. Still too much love to be gangster. I created a paradise back home. Out here, I feel like some lone wolf living among sheep. You try your best, but you can't help but bite some of them. Where are my wolves at? Hashtag hustle life, hashtag missing home. Can we get an ow woo for this guy? <laughs> Gender, male. Wink bat eggplant. Status, single. Black heart, broken heart, chain, vile. Looks, straight, hunted. <laughs> I would have never have guessed with your Marceline profile picture. Age, 14, sweaty face cobweb. Owns vape. Ooh. You guys feel that? That was straight intimidation. Owns a vape. And an anime weeb. <laughs> Just gets worse as it goes on. Drinking alcohol to numb out pain. Dad has a 401k. Just figured that'd be in there too. Won't see 40. Wait, huh? I don't think the crazy face goes with that. Won't see 40. Sign a fancy M. All right, I guess the H. The age is less counting up, more counting down if you're not gonna see 40. I'm not scared of the cartels. I laugh at them in the face. My older brother is a retired SEAL. My dad is a retired Marine. I'm in the army, all armed. Yeah, you're not scared of the cartel for sure, uh-huh. <laughs> Whatever. I am not cute. I am fierce, fiery, and fearless. I'll burn your house down and you won't even try to stop me. What? Why wouldn't I try to stop- Stop right there, criminal sc- I would have jumped right on the crocodile's head if it were my dog. Nobody and nothing will mess with my dog. I black out and go into demon mode. I'm sure you do, sweetie. I get an email like this almost every week. Here's an email I recently received. I work out every day and I get straight A's in school. My fear about basic training isn't about my capabilities to fail. My fear is that I will get booted for being too tough. If the drill sergeants try to boss me around, I fear my subconscious fighting skills in karate, I'm a black belt, will take over and I will strive and injure a drill sergeant. How can I control the fighting force that has been instilled within me? Since I have straight A's, I'm already a fighting force. Can I get a waiver from my recruiter so I don't have to attend basic training? Wow. Um, <laughs> okay. No, this is not a joke. This is an actual email that I had to read and respond to. My response is below, name withheld to preserve anonymity. Dear X, you can't get a waiver for being such an awesome person. The fact that you would ask that question shows you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. You will get yelled at by your drill sergeants, and judging by your personality, probably many times a day. Not only will you not strike them, you will probably pee your pants the first time you get yelled at. My advice to you is not to be overconfident. Your ego might be your worst enemy. Best of luck. Can you imagine unironically sending that email to somebody before you're due to start basic training? Really, <laughs> you're gonna get made fun of forever, man. <laughs> if you don't wear your mask after March 10th, don't talk to me, LOL. I never wear a mask. COVID hospitalization. Guess what? I don't fear a little lung virus. I fear fascism. I will never wear a face diaper. And then everybody clapped. How you got so far? I watched a lot of horror movies when I was a kid, so stuff like demons, gangsters, guns, anything that makes people scare, I'm immune to that. Well, I'm not. You must be scared of something. Girls, perhaps? If I was scared of chicks, I wouldn't have 200 freaking chicks on my phone. I'm not scared of girls. I'm just smart of how I approach girls. There's a difference. So ending up being an asshole. Exactly. <laughs> the best part is these people type and speak like they're nine years old. Me watch training day. Me no longer scared of gang violence. These kids in Stevens Green called us racial slurs, surrounded and threatened us with their weapons, which were bicycle scraps. I'd give them one glare and they would run. Aw, oh, I wanted to see the replies. I'm pretty quirky. Oh God, that's a good line to start with. 
I don't watch anything that doesn't teach me something. I enjoy combat, I've been in hundreds of fights now, and the thrill doesn't wear off. I'm an amateur archaeologist. The thing that I'm most passionate about is the period before we invented writing. By the way, no one has ever hit me in the face, because my head isn't where my opponent expects it to be. I love combat because I don't lose. Aside from Kim, she hit me in the face once. Oh, we're backpedaling already. I hit her in the ribs by reflex and she folded up on the floor. That was the first and last time I ever hit a woman, largely because I thought I had killed her. The strength disparity between the sexes is not to be ignored by men. Wow. For some reason, when I was 16, I had a fight with four people. They punched me in the face over and over, but I didn't collapse or do anything. I ended up knocking them all out. But I take so many blows in the face without collapsing or anything, really. I think I'm made out of rock or something. I never knew I could do that. I'm still impressed, and I'm 36 now, 20 years ago. You don't need to lie. <laughs> I'm just like her. I'm blackpilled. I'm misunderstood. I'm a gamer. <laughs> I'm what they know as incel. I'm kinda a big deal around the internet. Don't mess with me or you'll regret it. You're kind of a big deal around the internet. I'll deliver DoorDash into the projects at 10 p.m. on a Saturday night. I have no fear. Come at me, bruh. I'm Italian. Goodfellas is accurate. God, what has Hollywood done? On a post saying katanas aren't that great. Oh, oh, oh this is gonna be good. You only say that because you only see Americans or non-Japanese dudes wielding it and dumbly waving it. I once fought four guys. I have a katana. They have a military knife, axe, metal bat, and a machete. Imagine the ending. Edit. Sure, European double-edged swords can maybe break a katana in a clash, but that's not how you use a katana. It's a blade that cuts the body, not clashes and overpowers enemy weapons. There's a katana technique called one draw sword something. <laughs> The idea is to draw the katana from the scabbard at the fastest time to kill or assassinate the enemy. <laughs> Dude couldn't even remember the name! It's not actually called one draw sword something, is it? Teleports behind you. Sorry, kid. LOL, why? You're not an evil You ain't seen the bad side of me. I think I am seeing the bad side of you right now. It's got tattoos on it. Okay, get your mother brothers here, LMFAO. I got my dad that went to jail for almost killing his friend, my mom with her friend that knows how to beat ass, <laughs> my grandpa that has a gun, also my grandmother that have two guns, and my cousin that has been in a gang before, and me. I know how to knock someone out, uppercut, and use a gun, and I know how to drop kick, and I also have my sister that will beat ass bitch, so girl, bye, and me. <laughs> Holy crap! Don't ever attack my gathering troops. Why not? Attack my turf. I messaged your leader as a warning. What does that even mean? You think my current alliance leader is my daddy? I'll burn everyone in your clan. Toot your horses, kid. No kid here. Oh, whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> I can't mute people in real life. Just break their jaw. It's easy. I've done it before. I can't deafen people in real life. Just scream into their ears. I can't kick people in real life. Just use your foot. I can't ban people in real life. Just kill them. I know from experience. Even without a gun, Alaska's Representative Young tells Congressional Committee his hands can kill. <laughs> that guy? <laughs> Man, the only thing that guy could kill is a freaking maple bar. Get me the hell out of here. I was 17 and an owner of Brass Knuckles. This happened to me trying to buy booze. It didn't go well for the guy trying to rip me off. Not bragging, just saying probably not a good idea. My name is Landon. I don't give a rat's ass who you are, what you're talking about, or anything about you. But you trying to have a good talk in Snapchat is completely fine with that. But don't be a boring ass b Jesus Christ, who wrote this? A cat? All right, what are his uh, likes here? Wrestling, System of a Down, Rick and Morty, Lucifer, and Grand Theft Auto 5. You're complaining about the potential women that could be boring ass bitches, and you're leaving that list of likes and hobbies and sh**? Dude! I like Rick and Morty and Grand Theft Auto. You know, maybe some wrestling. God, The Rock is the greatest actor of our generation. Lisbon to me closely. Never run away like that again. I am to be respected. I am the predator and you are my... my what? I will catch you. Okay, screw my anger. People screwing me over. 
That was first hit, LMAO. How big is your fist then, you freaking child? Hey, hey, you like Trump? He's the godfather. You worship him? No, he's in the mafia. I'm in his mafia. That's just sad. And we will kill Jill Biden. Good luck with that. Luck. Huh, we don't need any luck. Oh, uh, bye. I call this look. I could destroy every man in this city with my bare hands and still look perfect doing it. Okay, honey. Not literal mommy GF. I am so not reading any of that. I want to be someone's mommy GF so badly, but then I remember I probably stabbed the living crap out of my partners for no reason, so like, never mind, y'all. Why are you saying y'all? Quit talking to us. We weren't talking to you. Nobody asked you anything. Your wife has been kidnapped and is being held in the location 30 minutes away. You're driving to rescue her. It's a warm night and your windows are down. Do you listen to music on the drive there? Yes or no? No. Stealth is an optimal requirement. Nothing or no one should see or hear me coming. Only the carnage left behind will be audible and visible. Jesus Christ, the capital letters in that are just awful. I didn't before. I don't now, and I sure as freaking hell will forever continue to never give a crap about your feelings. Hey, snowflakes, feeling butthurt today? Good for me. Your torture is my entertainment. Don't dish if you can't receive and don't bark if you can't bite. You know what? Just don't open your freaking mouth, period. Unless it's to my face. Show some guts and balls. Maybe you'll get some respect after I'm done knocking your worthless ass out into a permanent vegetative comatose state. Someone went to thesaurus.com. What was the point of this scene? I've never seen the movie. See the movie. I actually own a multi-million dollar company, so I don't have time to waste two hours to watch a movie. Sorry, buddy. Wow, that's the saddest shit I've ever seen. There are several people walking amongst me that are only alive because I'm deathly afraid of prison. True story. Wow, someone's afraid of prison? Little baby gonna cry? Call me a pussy and I'll make you cry. Dude, you got a paper cut on your knuckle. Why are you posting stuff like this? Bet if that was my truck, they wouldn't be fixing it. Or I would drive it right through their plant. Good one. Second dude, low-key hit an ankle sprain. I sprained my ankle in a similar way when roundhouse kicking a gangster that had disrespected my girl. <laughs> These people unironically say this crap. Any son of a that sells my wife a new filter will be beaten senseless. Thanks. Permanent air filter. What? No, 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 no. I bought lifetime oil. I should never have to change it. Everyone at my school hates me, but it's because I'm the alpha wolf. And they're just little sheep that I can eat up in one second. Oh, can you? I'd like to watch that happen. No, I want to see it happen, dude. If you're so awesome, I want to see you eat up the little sheep. Come on, let's do it. Shut before you get slapped, little child. What the f***, bro? Through a screen? I swear I wish I could see y'all in real life. I live in Cali. Drop your Addy or where we should meet and I'll show you the difference between a man and a woman and I'll pull up with a gun for safety though, I just wanna be safe. I play COD on a broken controller and my jump shot crazy. I could probably smoke everyone here. I in the game though, right? Being a lone wolf ain't so bad. Anybody get too close, just snarl at them. It does wonders. Screw social distancing. But you wanna snarl at people so they, they move away from you. I'm confused. I'm sorry. Do you want to give me a big kiss? You want, you want to give me a big kiss? You can, you can snarl at me, make me run away. You want to you want to kiss? Walks into Spencer's. Cashier. Excuse me, bud. Can you pull your mask up? Reaches up to realize that my mask is already covering my mouth and nose. Uh, I don't think I can, but it's okay because screw you and screw this place too. Pivots and exits store. Lucky I didn't spit on the floor. Wow. It's the least believable situation here. Who the hell walks into Spencer's? Don't make me mad, kitten. No, 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 no. This one isn't real. I'm sorry. Masks and lockdowns have been proven by science to work. No discussion otherwise. None. I see these redneck tex ass morons doing this. Denying science and it makes my blood boil. I wish. I just wish I was there. Oh yeah, trust me. Those hillbilly science deniers would be wishing their backward state was frozen again and they were trapped indoors, where they belong anyway. One look at me and my rage, and they would regret their idiocy. I am not someone to mess with. Trust me. They just sent me a letter. I don't take threats lightly. 
I will find you. You safe? Praying for you and your family's safety. I learned about Operation Talon today. It made me cry because I thought we were done with this. Uh, uh, wh what the fuck are you talking about? You don't know me, but I highly advise you to read this thoroughly in its entirety. You are to cease any and all communication with Blank effective immediately. You are not to contact her for any reason whatsoever. You are not to answer her calls, texts, etc. Is that understood? It is not in your best interest to ignore me. I have a very bad temper and you do not want to see it get away from me. You will send me some sort of confirmation that you are receiving my messages and that you will comply fully. I have a Tor browser, plenty of disposable income, and all the free time in the world, kiddo. Do not test me. It is remarkably easy to make someone disappear. This is your last chance to respond before you end up in a red room. Never let it be said that I'm not fair. You had your chance, kiddo, but you've chosen to ignore all of my generous warnings, and you'll soon learn the lengths I'm willing to go for my soulmate. Expect company, f boy. Guess who's trying to live life right, but will knock every single tooth out of your bitch ass mouth if you step out of pocket? Why am I in a pocket? Dude, I'm like six foot three. I can't fit in a pocket. You gonna run over a hundred plus bikes and dodge a thousand plus rounds of lead? We got a superhero here. As somebody who's part of this life, you won't do crap. You'll sit in your car and you will wait. The cops can't help you. The cops fear us. So sit down, keyboard warrior, and mumble into the void, or you could be the next victim. Please tell me this is a troll, otherwise I'm screenshotting this to look at when I'm feeling down, knowing I'll never be as cringy and pathetic as you. I'm going to hurt you. Give me back my effing AirPods. I wouldn't mess with him, he's got his shirt off. Better give those AirPods back. Your account is one year old. My account is 18 days old. Don't assume I'm concerned with losing this account. But you, on the other hand, one year is a long time. Are you implying that my account would get banned for some reason? Nearing 39,000 karma, not to mention the reddit gold. And you may have noticed I have no post history, so you might want to be careful who you piss off this time. I'll see you in r slash I am very badass. It's cute how some of y'all have been babied all your life you think jumping in a cold pool is bad A. Whenever I can't find the cat toy, I let my cat play with my hand, scratch, and bite me. I had glass go through my foot and it barely phased me. I cut my thumbs up to see if my knives are sharp. I touched a kitchen eye to see if it was hot before I could even talk and I didn't cry. I cut my hand open one time because I was bored. The throbbing felt cool. I picked up embers from fires with my bare hands so it doesn't burn the grass. You're just a pampered, spoiled little bee who thinks they're cool. <laughs> I could beat this guy in a fight. I'd even let him use his little stick just to make it fair. The guy who says he can beat up people on the internet probably couldn't beat up anyone. Bad A's don't advertise that they're bad. This bad A does. I don't know what you look like or how much you deadlift, but I can still bet I could chuck your right through a third story window from ground level. High school is a hell of a drug. Me, to all Trump lovers, anytime, any place. Boxer wears America first wall shorts against Mexican fighter. Gets soundly beaten. There comes a time when a man must spit on his hands, hoist a black flag, and begin to slit throats. I got a man. I give an FY, most of my tramps got boyfriends. Aren't you like nine? Nine inches deep in your throat. People in the armed forces, what's the story behind your nickname? Blackout. I tend to blackout and go in full rage about while in live combat. I have one. 100 plus recorded kills using a pocket knife and I don't remember one of them. Yeah, back in 2006 while all the kids were playing tag, I studied the blade. Oh no, the demons are coming out. Oh, he's got a boss hat on. A man jumped from a bridge and landed in a boat. Yeah, and the oncoming boat could have killed him from blunt force trauma to the hard from running him over, but drowned him while he was trapped underneath it. Why? Nothing happened to him. I jumped from 12 meters once and landed on rocks. Nothing happened to me, but to be fair, I am athletic slash buffed and work out daily. This also helped me with picking up girls. Cheers. R slash nobody asked. That was something. By the way, I had 27 times last week. Are you my flashlight? I wouldn't be able to be that calm. I would knock them both out and turn that little smart car over. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Ramsay destroys the delusional owner with logic and facts. Yeah, and then what happens when that owner swings on him and knocks his phony butt out, huh? He's still your hero after that? His tough guy act would not fly with me if you catch my drift. Kitty cat punching someone fire emoji? Okay, bud. I go to Starbucks solely to see the embarrassment in the eyes of a grown man who orders a low-fat iced latte frap fru fru blah blah when he looks up and sees me taking a sip of my straight black coffee with no cream or sugar. Okay, bud. This is how work started to Today. This mouth breather showed up to a CCW class like this, in case crap popped off. Note, he does not own a firearm yet.
I beat the crap out of a cop once for being an a-hole, and since he touched me first, he got arrested and I got off fine. And by got off fine, I don't just mean the pleasant absence of any charges or court dates. The <coughs> female officers were quite pleased with my achievement of getting rid of him. Did everyone clap after? Only their cheeks. hey oh So, you bought a fidget spinner for stress relief? That's cute. I just dragged mother effers into them damn woods for a stomping over there, hmm? Lol, true story. GF and I are walking through Pioneer Square last winter. It's after midnight. The remains of an ice sculpture from one of the bars lies in pieces on the ground. The GF and I start kicking it back and forth. Out of the shadows approaches this middle-aged guy who doesn't appear to be homeless. He starts yelling about how this is proof that my generation is destroying the country because we're kicking ice. I yelled at him to go away or I'll call the police. He says something to the effect of, I ought to F you up. I told him to pitter-patter. He takes his coat off. I start to take mine off and then he pulls out a metal baton. I laughed and continue to take off my coat. It was at that moment this guy may have peed a bit. On my hip was my EDC G23. I asked him if he really wanted to involve weapons. He grabbed his coat off the ground and walked backwards out of the park. Screw dubstep! Shove them glow sticks up your butt, coward. You dare mess with me and you're dead. Buddy, you're not toned at all. You're not- it's not intimidating. List of illegal crap I did today. I vaped underage, I smoked weed, I drank underage, I drove with an open alcohol container in the vehicle and drove under the influence, exceeded the speed limit, got pulled over but got off on a warning, went to the ski hill without buying a ticket, they caught us and said we had to pay for a lift ticket and said if we do it again they'll call the cops and we'll have to pay a fine. Pretty effing great day. Like how you put your finger on the camera. One day, I'm just gonna say F it all and let my demons out to play. Primo died, Bonix died, Froggy died, crap. I can go on forever, so on your sides, mamas cry till your block's gone. Hey, it's getting peppered, eh? I can go on forever, these fellas try me, that was clever, that was gonna be like forever. Nintendo America, we really, really dig Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. F you, Xbox. I swear to God it's Steve, I will break my effing Xbox in half. You were teasing Banjo, but you bend us over and told us to go F our Ourselves. I do not want kids going to Smash to play Steve. All you did was buy Mojang. You could have chosen Master Chief. No soliciting. This means if you didn't call, aren't a friend, you're not carrying my mail, don't have an appointment, aren't family, are pushing your own religion, and are not handing out million dollar checks, don't even know. My dog is hungry. To Iranian President Rouhani, never ever threaten the United States again, or you suffer consequences the likes of which few throughout history have ever suffered before. We are no longer a country that I stand for your demented words of violence and death. Be cautious. Stick to making video games for 38 year old virgins. Let the real men do the thinking here, champ. I haven't played a video game since my last knee surgery. Know why? I'm too busy reminiscing about all the fun I had killing my enemies in a rock and banging down chicks. TBH, nobody has the balls to say anything to my face. They said a lot of cruel things about me, sometimes with an earshot, but they know I'm psycho enough to not risk it. R slash, I am very badass. Go ahead, see how that works out. First punch will crack his spirit, second punch will crack his ego, third punch will crack his jaw. Fight's over. Over, kiss my girl, go home. I just had a man cashier at the drug stop tell me I got pretty blue eyes. My reply was one more remark like that toward me from you fella and you'll have the prettiest black eyes of some bitch ever seen and yes, I walked off and left my stuff sitting on the counter. What in the hell is this world coming to? A blind man can plainly see Grizzly ain't gay. I started to knock fire from his A. Thinking seriously about turning around and going back to whoop hell out of him that upset me. What's it like being 14? You think you're funny, don't you? You snowflake. I can kill you in four different ways or bring you to the brink of death with my bare hands. Step off. Practicing our toxic masculinity. Hey Gillette, does this offend you? I'll raise my kids the way I believe they should be. Thanks for your advice. Graham. Gillette, be better, treat people with respect, stand up to bullying. This dude, you'll never take away my we don't call 911. Uncle, dad, and brother waiting for the prom date to arrive. I'm the lucky one. I have a crazy husband who happens to cuss a lot. He has tattoos. He has anger issues and a serious dislike for stupid people. You hurt me and they'll never find your body. Yes, he bought me this shirt. My friend and his wife are going through a mutual divorce. Her new boyfriend is wasting no time asserting dominance. If you have a minute, could we discuss the mortgage and how to deal with it? Hey, this is Mike. If you want to talk about anything, you talk to me. You got it? I would, but Sarah and I are the ones on the mortgage and she has the information I need to get this squared away. You don't listen too well, do you? I said if you're gonna harass my girl, it's not gonna end well for you. Never mind. 
I'll just have my lawyer take care of it. Effin' lol, you would have your lawyer step in, wouldn't you, jerk? You can't handle me, so you run to the police like a coward and have lawyers trying to jam me up. You think I'm scared of that BS? Bring it and see what I do. Put me in jail over words and I'ma take you to the pavement real quick. I meant I'd have my attorney contact Sarah or her attorney in regards to the mortgage. Since I've started packaging my trash like this, my neighbors respect me. They say good morning with a smile and keep the music volume real low. I'm an otaku, not a weeaboo. If you can't tell them apart, then maybe I can't tell killing you and not killing killing you apart. Hashtag, I own a katana. Nice modded pistol, kid. I'm hacking your account. Gonna find out your address and come kill your whole effing family. You only won because I had lag. Remember that. Cool. Has no valid point to say back, so says cool instead. LOL. You're disappointing. I'd ask you for a rematch, but you're probably too scared, LOL. So I won't. Have a nice day, scared loser. Thanks for the seven karma. You're still talking to me? I'm gonna get on Reddit. LOL. Go ahead and post it to your four friends, LMAO. Like, posting it to Reddit will do something. Make it a good post so I can read it, too. Anyone want to break in the house? Got some 40, 556, five, or some 300 win mag for your A. Your choice. Don't forget the cameras. If you take longer than 90 seconds to use an ATM, you're a worthless maggot, and were it not for the legal repercussions, I would rock your brain case with big, nasty hooks. This is my peace, my serenity, my escape. Don't mess with it. Screw off, I got more money than you, more views than you, more ads than you, I'm more famous than you on Snapchat. I don't care if you don't believe me because everyone knows me, so there, just agree with me. Let's make you Reddit famous. Sure, I don't care. Imagine being a full-grown man and being excited by cooking. Not war, not conquest. No, you get adrenaline from making an omelet. Effin' nerd. Chefs are worms. Oh my god, where's the meats overdone? OMG! Who cares? Hardly getting knocked out, is it? I took down your license plate number. Take my spot again and I will key the crap out of your car and slash your tires. This is your first warning. Do not F with me. My girl can wear anything. I know how to fight. One of them will pull you out of a fire. The other will thank affirmative action for their job. If you think police work is all about physicality, you don't know crap about police work. You do not know who you're talking to, kid. If you think physical ability is not relevant, I'd love to see your face when a 110 pound woman tries to pull your dead father's charred and burned body from the house. No answer, coward. Your dad just burned alive in a fire because this little girl couldn't pull him out. Good job at being PC though, you weak loser. Why would a police officer who doesn't have fire gear be running into a burning house? Because they are first responders? Not to burning buildings, no. I think maybe you need to watch fewer TV dramas and movies. Okay, let me reshape the scenario. How about I beat the hell out of you and your girlfriend when your neighbors call the police, I knock her out too, then leave. How'd you like that? Who is this? Sorry, man. I think I had the wrong guy. Take care. <laughs> Lol, I bet. Evan coward. Don't take my kindness for weakness. Because I can be the one that nobody has control over. I can go zero to a hundred really quick. You are so white, LMAO. And is that supposed to be an insult? And is that supposed to be an insult? Just FYI, I'm six foot two, 195 pounds, 10% body fat, broad shoulders, very defined, powerful back, deadlift PR 505 pounds, chest hair, full thick beard, veiny forearms protruding and defined jawline, and the majority of my wardrobe is made up of dress shirts. I'm an Instagram girl's wet dream and I still turn that stuff down since I have better options throwing themselves at me nearly every time I go out in public. Oh, I could take every single person they're in a fight all at once. Sir, this is a three-year-old's birthday. Uh, my sweet summer child, you don't win with me. You're here because you've got nothing better to do. Unlike me, who is going to make an entire paragraph to prove that I am not like you. Because I'm here because there is nothing I do better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because there is nothing I do better, people. Hey, they thought... They thought that was a proud thing to say. Despite all these losing arguments, failed attempts at trying to get under my skin, you still keep coming back. That's how I get you. You sitting here alone, thinking you've won for a very peculiar reason. Meanwhile, I am absolutely loving every minute of it. Now, the only way to win would be to leave. But by leaving, you lose as well. You see, I don't actually care about anything besides seeing how people's minds work and what makes them tick. Everything is an experiment to me, even my own actions. When I'm bored, I leave. When I'm not, I continue to siphon whatever I can. How'd you like that? <laughs> Did you like it? Please, please, please approve for me. <laughs> You're the only person I've talked to in months. <laughs> I do creative writing on the side, but I don't really show many people. Except the internet, right? Where you're showing it to thousands of people. Okay, yeah, right, well. 
Most dudes nowadays wouldn't know what to do with a smoking hottie moving like that. From what I've gathered from this new batch of males is they're soft around the edges and need mama's help just to get to first base. Unlike me, I didn't even have a mom because I don't need one. I had my dad to tell me all about women after my mom left him. He had some very well constructive thoughts. So what you gonna do when it's go time and she's waiting for you to step up to the mound and deliver your hardest hit? I'm sorry, wait, uh, is there a boxing match? Siri and the latest phone apps can't help you here, Junior. The only button that matters is that love glove with 6,000 nerves attached to it, my friends. <laughs> love glove? What? I'm sure he means the vaginae. But let's actually dissect that, okay. His pro advice to make a woman feel good when you're in the bedroom is to touch her genitalia. Wow, who would have thunk it all this time? I've just been poking her belly button. I come from lower middle class background in a third world country. <laughs> so I decided to give it a really pompous British accent. Okay. The problem is that I relate with characters such as Homeland, and I actually have the muscles to break someone's neck with their hands. I can break ribs by punching the body. Damn, this Queen Elizabeth is jacked. But my mother stuffed my head with morals, values, and righteousness. Though she is an innocent, naive, God-fearing pacifist who believes all humans are good. A part of me wants to go on a killing spree, but another part wants to stay down because of my mother. I am not bulletproof, so yeah, obviously after killing three or four people I might get overpowered by bystanders or get shot dead by corpse. Seeing others such as celebs, politicians, or rich men makes me want to defame them and bring them down because I am not able to enjoy as they are enjoying. Okay, cool, man. Validates my ego. Ring the freaking doorbell once. How about ring the doorbell once? It's ring, so you only press once. Ring the bell once, so I know package was delivered. You're on several cameras anyways, and I do report sloppy deliveries to Amazon. <laughs> oh, that Schmidt's getting hit for no less than 20 times, then two more. Basically, if they come to the door, I'll maintain eye contact and continue to ring the bell. Actually, I'm not stopping hitting the doorbell until I witness this D-bag physically take the package inside. Want to be passive-aggressively keyboard warrior? Good. Now you're going to get forced to lip off to the Amazon delivery guy with a crooked nose and cauliflowered ears. They don't. They never do. Considering they work for Amazon, I'm gonna give them a pass for snapping so unnecessarily at this person. I mean, that job sucks. <laughs> I can only imagine how much BS they deal with already. 15-year-old daughter has a friend over, and suddenly my 13-year-old son wants to walk around curling dumbbells. Doesn't stop there either, folks. Suddenly he became a late-night cook and made ramen for everybody. With eggs. What a funny, wholesome moment of a teenager just, you know, trying to impress the ladies. Hope there's no one here to try and ruin it with their own little boaster. So, at 13, I was working every summer. Between two farmers baling hay 80 hours a week and stronger than most men, lugging and tossing 75-pound bales of hay do that to you, I didn't lift until I was 21 and tossed them. Hard work builds strength and morals. I'm just, just, just saying. What did this have to do with any of this original tweet? You literally just read the part about dumbbells and felt the need to suddenly brag about yourself. Why? Wow, your mother's dead? That's, that sucks, man. You know, like, I'd never want to be caught dead last at something because, like, I'm a winner, and that's always what I'll achieve to be. 82nd ABN veteran, 3rd Brigade, 1st Battalion, 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment. Brrr. This guy was too nice to say the least. With today's mentality and lack of morality, things would have been much different on my end to say the least. You say the least a lot for someone who has a lot to say. And to let that guy go? No. Squealing like a stuck pig or not, that arm would have been broken along with all of his card playing fingers one by one. Or you can tell this is a boomer. And then smashed on the concrete underneath my foot so that he'll always remember that day. The day he should have just stayed home playing his video game instead of trying to be this little punk ish piece of poo. I can't stand a sorry as criminal, let alone one of these piece of poo's lack of everything. Mmm, like his lack of self-awareness. And like you, you've, you've got a lot of that. Got my car on the 23rd of December, sitting at Texas Roadhouse waiting for our table, and an 
idiot hit me turning in. I jumped out and jumped his butt. Oh, I hope you lubed up at least. He was mad I was calling the police. Sorry, I'm following protocol and doing things the right way. He said I don't need to cuss so much and I scared him so bad he peed his pants. The police officer just looked at him like, what the frick? Anyway, he couldn't find his insurance card and has to come back two hours away Monday. I told him it's a brand new effing car and I'll say whatever the F I want to say because he's an effing idiot. He tried blaming the sun. I told him the sun was behind him. It's actually above him, technically. Anyway, I've never made a male so scared they peed before, so there's that. Entire bumper will have to be replaced. I'm like, you hit me and sitting here telling me I can't cuss? Okay, dude. I had two really bad scares with people like this. One time, a dude stuck his hand through my slightly ajar window and quick pulled it back when I crushed his hand in it. Had the nerve to pound on my door and I'd swear he grew wings and flew off my porch once he saw the black of my rifle. So what you're saying is you were gonna shoot an angel? Hmm? One of God's people? How dare you, sir? This dude randomly texted this to a girl he doesn't even know. Hell yeah, I served prison time for murder on the first degree from 17 to 22. I was trialed as an adult. I know about trapping and capping. I got about 100 guns in the room. I got out after four years because it was brought back to court and the witness lied so it was all dismissed. But I got about 14 bodies. I'm not scared of no one or anyone for that reason. I run up and bust a half clip off of anyone. It's... It's just like, how do you not fathom that people don't find the idea that you kill people if they go the wrong way in your mind? Like, that's not attractive. I am armed, so I have no fear. Bro, you literally got the gun because you're afraid of not being protected. That's, that's fear. And when you forget your gun or step out quickly without it, of course the fear comes back. I never leave the house without my gun. Why would I? Only stupid weak people don't protect themselves. Do you mow your lawn armed? How about if you've forgotten something in your your car and you run out to get it. Also again, if you weren't someone who was uncomfortable about your safety, maybe, you know, in other words, afraid, you wouldn't be carrying a gun around so much, would you? But it keeps going. Weak, stupid people leave themselves vulnerable. I'm not weak or stupid. I'm afraid. I mean, I also have both types of tasers and a kitty stabber on my keychain. I'm always aware of my surroundings. Don't be a victim. R slash I am very badass. I actually oh, am. No. Oh. You unfortunately are not. Oh, oh, he didn't realize. He didn't realize. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten in shovel distance of him to begin with, but okay. I thought I was far enough, but he kept moving around. Thought of just walking to the next stop, but knowing my luck, I'd miss the bus on the way to the stop, lol. Oh, right, yeah. I'm extremely aggressive and weirdos fear me. Oh, okay, I wasn't asking. I would have started cleaning my 22 or picking my nails with my very big knife, then add some random phrase. Guess we all out here today. <laughs> People used to try me on the bus all the time. Loved it. I'm sure they did. Though, they probably weren't really loving it because you were being tough. They were loving it because you liked to think you were tough. No excuse for breaking the law. I am a trained sniper, but I don't go out town shooting people. The law is the law, and your statement does attempt to justify his crime. Well, now I want to know what the crime was. Come on, where's the context? For why cops? Uh, let me just do that signature for them. Uh, I'm 12 years old. <laughs> I said his own account on video, moron. I responded to someone adding context about what led up to the shots being fired. Reddit is probably older than you, and you still haven't figured out how contextual threads work. <laughs> For frick's sake. He doesn't mention getting beat or having broken bones. Keep up, little boy. I didn't get a vasectomy so I could hold your hand. <laughs> what? Medical professionals approved of the fact that I shouldn't have babies anymore, and that's a... <laughs> I'm proud of that. Also, every single instance of self-defense negates these laws. I'm sure it does, my man. I wonder what it's like to talk Big Schmidt online, but not have one violent charge on your record. Sounds like domesticated back to me. Nah, that's not the HEMA instructor's worst nightmare. I'm the HEMA instructor's worst nightmare because I'd be saying I want to learn them all. If you can't pick up any weapon and use it effectively, are you even a warrior? I've trained with sabers, daggers, long swords, short swords, katanas, odachi, rapier, etc. I want to be able to see a weapon and immediately know how I will use it to defeat an opponent. A skill I imagine they've used a whole one time in their life so far. 
The only problem is I wouldn't be good for Hema. Hema really isn't true sword fighting, it's reenactment fighting. A lot of the styles are built from manuals, but you can't react the way you would react in a real battle. You'd end up maiming, or worse, killing your opponent. I've sparred with my buddies far too often with real sharpened swords, and that reaction is too ingrained into my boudoir. Biden should concede. I want his concession on my desk tomorrow morning. Don't make me come over there. Who the hell are you? Really, who are you? I know you don't represent me where I live, but still, Paul, shut up. My father was breaking bricks, also with his forehead. I inherited his genes. 36 years, five foot two, never lost in bloody knuckles. Neither. I train in Muay Thai and boxing. Let's just say I have no bullies. Sorry. The reason I read that weird is because it's written by a frickin' three-year-old, so what do you want from me? I try. I've wrapped my fists in chains and punched people multiple times in my life. It always hurts me more than the other guy. All right, that's real cool. Really effective fighting technique. I haven't cried since I was nine. Crying is for women, children, and soy boys. No matter how bad it gets, I'm not gonna cry. Normally, I would be willing to rip you apart. The only way that I know how, which is using my voice. But in this particular case, are you all right? Legitimately, it's a legitimate question. You can answer however you want. I think I know how you would, but please, just answer honestly. Why is he crying? I broke both my arms at the same time. Didn't shed a tear, didn't even say ow. That's really nifty there. Judging by your profile photo, is your name Brandon? No, it's Tyler. Wait, Kyler. I have a master's in history. Cool, cool. Uh, right? What happened in 1612? This is me. Disrespect me one more time and I'll break your legs. What? What's going on? I'm a gamer because punching people in real life is frowned upon. Exactly, it's frowned upon. It's not illegal. Wait a minute, I think I know where this is. Holy crap! <laughs> is this outside the Grafton Center in Cambridge? <laughs> Seriously, is it? That's what it looks like. If any of y'all are from that area, please let me know if I'm even remotely correct. Weak as beta male is scare of a little jail time. Last time I went to jail, they installed a mini bar and jacuzzi because I threatened to burn the place down if they didn't. I would absolutely love to see the evidence of this, especially since jail and prison are two different goddamn things. <laughs> And I'm hoping you're not interested in me because you think I'm a nerdy white boy, because that's definitely not the case. How would you describe yourself? I'm more of a bad boy. I cause a lot of mischief. Me and my boys call ourselves the Mischief Kings. Oh, I hope you're joking. Why? You're not looking for a bad boy? Dude, you were so close. You were so close, and then you opened the closet and showed her your freaking anime girl body pillow collection. Why did you do this? In charge? Ha 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 ha. Okay, if you say so. I went to juvie cause my teacher said he was in charge. Hit him in the back of the head with a table. With a table? Took him six years to learn how to walk again. And you are bragging about this why? You've just outed yourself as a despicable person. Do you still go around hitting people just to defy them? No, he continues to make up stupid f <gasps> stories on the internet. I realize I'm short, but I can still beat the crap out of you. And if you want to talk sh <gasps> to the person who had to watch her parents leave to train for war, you ungrateful ass. Just know I won't hiasite to kill you next time I see you. All right, I'm out. If you want some, come get it, mother <gasps> If you're a b <gasps> and leave a laugh reaction on my post, I'll block you like the little b <gasps> you are. Ooh, show him, boy. You aren't laughing at this guy before clean your clock and kill you. If you did, it would be your last laugh, I guess. You b <gasps> made little keyboard warriors. Damn. Why don't you use that energy for something creative? I don't know, maybe start a gaming channel or something? Live streamed? Do something, please. I just taught some b is a lesson. Never f me up, f me up, you die. I don't think this really applies too much to I am very badass. Dude's just excited that he whooped ass in what game is that? Dude, it's a game, who gives a sh I fight train to prevent conflict. Predators hunt prey. But predators only weak aura individuals get attacked. No one fucks with a lion. Do people know how to write? I guarantee you this mofo can speak English fluently. But when it comes to typing it on a keyboard, man, they turn into an aardvark on crack. You mean phase. I have a hundred guns in my living room, so don't piss me off. Why are they all in your living room? 
A hundred guns, even if they're small, would take up a lot of space. Turns out, alpha wolves are just devoted parents. Alpha males do not exist. In fact, the term alpha wolf was disavowed by the very scientist. I'd love to challenge this beta to a fight and see the multitude of reasons he comes up with to avoid a black eye that heals in a couple of days. Awkward sh man, living life afraid to live. So he's living life and afraid to live? That's what the commies get. You have never touched a firearm in your life. And you know this, how? Oh, there's an emoji, that's bad sign. I've held multiple rifles, shotguns, and pistols. That comment hurt my American pride. Actually, that is kind of endearing, I guess. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> He truly ended that the best way he could. Sister snuck a guy in. Am I the bad guy? Update from my last question. Okay, so basically my sister snuck a guy into the house. Older sister. And the guy came out of my sister's room and tried to dap me up. I knew him from sixth grade like four years ago. So I'm not with none of that friendly stuff because it's a dude in my sister's room. And I am man of the house. So I checked him and told him what it was. Told him you better not be doing nothing with my sister, especially when I'm here. I asserted dominance and had aggressive body language. He felt threatened and he tried to get all rowdy saying, oh, I play with guns, stuff like that. Claims he's in a gang. And I'm the type of guy who dies with respect. So if someone talks about guns, it just shows their weakness. What? A few minutes later, he called his pops to pick him up. His pops was respectful and told me that his son is not in a gang. We talked for a bit and they left. Do you guys think I was a bit too harsh? That happened, buddy. I'm six foot five and once choked a bull mastiff. Dog better hope he has friends. Yeah, whoosh. In what way? I know exactly what was meant, I just don't give a f- It's because I'm very badass. <laughs> I walk into a building and I'm looking for exits, cameras, and threats. Millennials walk in looking for outlets to plug in their devices. We are not the same. What the f- You don't need to look for the exits, they're all marked! Why are you looking for the cameras? Who gives a sh- They're looking at you! And threats? Dude, it's a safe way! Go get your milk and get the f*** out of here, you- Freaking gravy seal cosplaying piece of sh**. Last seen three days ago. Okay, you freaking piece of crap. I opened that damn chest and you came and stole my freaking gun. I'll kill your whole family right now in front of you, you whoa. <laughs> Calm down, loser. LOL, you suck. You think this is a game? Are you kidding me, you cuck? I promise I will come to your house and pull back the blanket and cuddle with you the whole Okay, he won. I'm sorry. He won! Dude, he kicked your ass! Once, I was working the liquor store, and a nerd comes in with a gun to try and hold up the place. I smile and just say, is it worth getting crippled over 70 bucks? I'll probably end up in prison with you, and I'll knock you around every day. You best make up your mind now because your life is about to change. He started backing away. Then he ran out the door. And then he came back in and told me I was very handsome and he wanted to marry me and be my sex slave. There were seven stunned people in the store who all started clapping. I know you think I added that part, but did I really? Also, did not take us long to get to the clapping. The clapping is so amazing to me. My friends and I have debates on if I can kill a deer with my bare hands. Light f***ing work, if you ask me. What the hell are you talking about? If you don't want to be hurt or ditched, annoyed, etc. in your future, unadd me. I'm a cold-hearted bitch, and I'll end up hurting you like you're nothing. And I don't want to do that. It sounds like you really do. Man, she's like a bullet bill. You can dodge this one real easy, dude. Don't ever be f***ing rude to me again. Ha! This makes my laugh. Are you really that delusional that you think you are badass? No, not with that attitude. Does a gunshot to your head make you laugh? Uh, no, that would that would probably kill me. I don't ever check my heart rate. That's for freaking losers who think heart rate while exercising means jack. A 600 pound man has a heart rate as fast as a runner just by standing up. I'm, I'm a little confused here. If it doesn't matter, then why are you, holy sh**. <gasps> I don't play airsoft or paintball. I play with firearms. When someone gets hit, it leaves a bloody hole. So now they can't say they didn't get hit. What? You don't, huh? You just admitted to messing around with firearms and shooting people? Is that okay? I mean, I know this is America and all, but really? I'm an introvert and a loner. Ugh, because I like being alone. I don't like showing emotions, but when I get pissed off, crap gets messy. So just don't piss me off. All right, again, this is another slow bullet. So just move slightly to the left at your leisure. Oh, hello, Tyler. I kill people I like. Some of them beg for their life. I don't feel sad. I don't feel anything. And someone's acting like a blue-haired protagonist today. It's really cute, Tyler. 
until it comes time to, you know, start dating 3D women. I wonder how the guy who murdered thousands of people to teach his son a lesson before beating the kid within an inch of his life will rank. He's the best dad. I wish he was my dad. Only difference, unlike his loser of a son, I would have joined my dad in the conquest of the universe. Is this about Omni-Man? Or whatever the- I don't know, dude. I didn't watch it. I'm sorry. I'd say break a leg, but I might end up breaking yours literally, and I'm gonna make this as painful as possible for you. Again, we got more blue-haired protagonist syndrome going on. This is not an anime. You are not the main character. You are not the chosen one. Chill the f*** out. Had a guy in Oakleaf yesterday walking around with a clipboard going door to door. I don't know what he was doing, but he noticed me, waved, and kept walking. I guess after he saw me get out of my truck with a holstered pistol, he didn't want to talk. People like this are scared of everything. Seriously, what the hell do you need that pistol for? Right at this exact moment, that guy walking around with a clipboard is probably a 20-year-old trying to sell f <gasps> subscriptions to pay for something. I don't know. We get them like that all the time up here. But you know what we don't do? Threaten them with a gun? Just remember what I said before. It's all cosplay. Assume that God exists, and that you are permitted to ask one question. What would you ask? I wouldn't ask a single question. I'd start beating the ever-loving <gasps> out of him. However, and he would deserve every single blow. For his sake, it's a good thing he probably doesn't exist. I'm sorry, I read that with a southern accent, knowing full well this is probably some 14-year-old atheist making this comment. Whatever, it doesn't matter. This is probably the only person I would actually trust to be able to do what they say they can do. I mean, seriously, he says he'd start beating up God. You know what? I'm on this guy's side. I've been robbed at knife point. It changes a man. The real world hits you hard and you reevaluate everything. Up until that point, bad things only ever happen to other people. I was robbed at gunpoint once and it didn't change me one bit. I don't even lock my door at night. Maybe a person can't choose how they respond to different situations, but I'm thankful that I don't live in fear. Uh-huh. That's nice, I guess. Freak. The only way to get them to leave you alone is to get nasty aggressive. They hang up crying when I'm done with them. I tell them I want immediate payment of the $41,000 for violating the do not call list, and when they sidestep that, I go down the you must be calling from an autonomous zone with no laws path and demand their location so I can come over there and shoot them between the eyes. Your choice, cough up the money or die. It takes several months of that to make the call volume drop. You know, I'm not a fan of spam calls either. You know, like the real scammy ones, but f <gasps> calm down. They are so heavily screened now, you can take a f <gasps> chill pill. And if you still have a home phone, it's kind of a you problem. Did I beat on a guy's door and screamed at him for 10 minutes to get <gasps> back from him for SYD? Yes. Did I make him scared? Yes. Did I make him cry? Oh, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, you're pretty sure? He didn't want to open the freaking door, so I made it very clear he was going to tonight. And there's a reason why I keep the metal pole with me. He was scared shitless of me, staying at his door yelling with my metal stick. What an interesting story, sweetheart. Hello. This is Madison's boyfriend. I'm probably going to be taking care of her streaks for her. Just know all you thirsty creeps out there better leave her the f*** alone or else I'm gonna have to hurt you. And I'm not one to f*** with at all, if you dare. Send any nudes, ask for nudes, ask to link, ask to go on a drive with her somewhere, doesn't matter where, or ask for anything personal. I will f find you and I will beat you worse than your parents ever will, understand? If not, then you can f*** off and suck a dick. Madison. Madison, my sweet dear. You need to leave this eight-year-old monstrosity as fast as you can. They're setting boundaries with your significant other. And then there's doing this. This guy's gonna kill her. What's your favorite Pokemon and why? Incineroar. I don't know, just kind of reminds me of my bad temper and violent tendencies. Oh my God, does your little guy there have a fedora <clears throat> and a bolo tie? Okay, uh, maybe the bolo tie is a little bit of a stretch, but that hat though, my guy. What? It's low resolution. I can't really tell all that much. Is spraying someone with a water gun considered assault. If I don't know you and you're an adult, I would consider it good enough of an excuse to beat you senseless or maybe even shoot you. You belong somewhere that you cannot talk to the public, you freak, because I know what can be put into a water sprayer. Spray me with something that doesn't immediately cause burns and I'm going to beat you and hold you for the police until the liquid can be tested. If it even tingles, I'm going to shoot you. Okay, that's not allowed. Because I know what can be put into a water- Yeah, you f***ing mentioned that, Dingleberry. The number of things that can be put into a water sprayer that can cause permanent scarring and death is not small. Acid attacks are becoming more common. Look, we f***ing get it. We understand. 
you can put dangerous things into a water gun. But maybe if a couple of teenagers roll up on you and shoot you with water, you don't need to shoot them in the head or something like that because you automatically assume they're trying to melt you to death in the fucking streets, psycho. I avoid fights so no one can witness my inner werewolf. I'm gonna use this on my Tinder profile. You think it'll work? Hey, champ, you better stop talking to my girl on kick or you and I will have to have a little chat. Impressive. Wow, you a big man, ain't you, boy? Ain't you, boy? <laughs> Purely based on size, brown bears can get to be 1,300 pounds. Male black bears max out at like half that. Following a normal distribution of all black bears, male and female, I estimate I can take 80% of all black bears in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm not just going to seek one out. I'm a pacifist by nature, but if you ever see me fighting in the forest with a bear, help the bear. The police have your bike along with the video of your ugly face on camera. Please don't make me kill you. Stay there the F away. <laughs> Christ. I am the embodiment of the dark side. What compelled you to say this? My only emotion is anger, an ideal in absolutes, no gray areas, lol, and I have an awesome fiance that I will do anything to protect, lol. You are a fairy tale teller, dude. That ostrich can't do anything except a few scratches to a real strong adult man like me. 115 kilos and lifting 400 pounds with my shoulders? I'd kill that funny chicken head simply with my hands. That killed humans were for sure some untrained, weakish, average guys with zero killer instinct. I'm different. I'm three times the fighting power of that boy in the video. You guys tease me all the time, but you're talking about the guy who used to charge kids 25 cents just to go into the bathroom in elementary school, only to watch other kids fight each other. I was literally a mafia boss in elementary school and had a whole bunch of people looking after me and working for me even as an idiotic spoiled brat in elementary school. So you were in elementary school, right? You're always talking about my past all the time and trying to use that as an argument is pathetic. So just so we're clear, you were literally a mafia boss in elementary school. My five foot seven is irrelevant. I'm 666 if you threaten my development, okay? You freaking kidding? You know who I am. I don't really remember. It doesn't matter. Listen, kid, you don't want to see my other side. I have a wolf inside me with a muzzle on. <laughs> but the muzzle is about to come off. You broke her heart and I will break you yours. She's a nice girl. How dare you use her like this? How can people like you get to date her? Then people like me have to sit in the shadows and be the shoulders to cry on. Listen, kid, I don't have time for freaking games. I'm a nice guy. But when you make a nice guy angry, the world shakes. Don't do it again, lol. Okay. You'll regret this the next full moon. <laughs> You mess with me, you mess with the pack, bud. Screw you, get ready. On the next full moon, what's gonna happen? Are you going to turn into a hairier neckbeard? TV show, jarring? I can literally watch someone get cut in half on gore sites, but 90s Law & Order is jarring to you? What the heck? La 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 Oh my god. This is hilarious to think about you sitting at home literally gasping at a TV show. Okay, time to address something. If you run your mouth about me and I simply walk away because it's not worth it, please take that as a hint and keep my name out of your mouth. Then I find out that your mouth running cost me money. Then we'll have a big problem. Just move on, cause you won't like what I have to say about you and I'll say it to your face. Got it, right, I got it. You know what I'm scared of? The price of the bill for when I put you in the hospital. May God forgive you, but I don't. <laughs> no way, it's this guy. <laughs> oh boy. You want to know the difference? I'm a classically trained performer with 20 years of theater experience who understands lighting, makeup, and costuming. I'm also wearing a $100 purple suit and a $70 purple trench coat, and this guy is wearing something from Spirit Halloween. Oh my god, he's bragging about his $170 outfit like that's a lot of money for something like that. It's really sad that some of you are so stupid that you can't put two and two together and figure out which one's me. Either that, or you're just being facetious which is a waste of my time, and blocking you is a way better option than giving you a monologue about why you're a twad. Well, you kinda just did give us a monologue. Is it weird that if I've met you, there's a 95% chance I've thought of a really brutal way to kill you? Is it weird that I really hope the people that are close to you force you to go into some kind of psychiatric hold? Really, this is some serious sh** you just admitted on Facebook, my dude. Our military is 1% of our population. Most are MAGA, the largest 
armed force on this planet makes up only three states if registered gun owners. I know not all are MAGA. You need MAGA to live. They don't need you. Stop underestimating your enemy. I don't think anybody's underestimating MAGA, my guy. The nuclear lack of masculinity here is so embarrassing, lol. In my day, you talked crap for about five seconds and it was fists flying. These kids look like second graders recording each other for evidence to show the teacher. Good grief, man, he shoved you. That means you punch him. I don't wear a mask anywhere, ever. Most people don't say a word. The ones that do, I tell them to frick off and mind your own business. A woman got in my wife's face at Walmart. My wife told her to back off and mind your own business. All right, there's a double. The woman got too close to my wife. Well, my wife knocked the woman out cold right there. We left and nothing came of it. Uh-huh, sure, buddy. I wouldn't mind reading more of your fan fiction, you big strong man. Ooh, ooh, this one. Oh, I was waiting for this one. If all your common knowledge of anime is Demon Slayer, Naruto, Inuyasha, Bleach, One Piece, Fate, Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, Gundam, My Hero Academia, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Ghost in the Shell, then you're not an anime fan! Normies, stay the hell out of anime. What a stupid thing to gatekeep, bro. Shut up, dude. Honestly. Go back to watching your stupid, obscure load of crap that nobody else actually freaking likes but you. Hint, hint. All of these anime are very popular for a goddamn reason, my dude. I would do that to all the people who screwed with me in life, and then the people who try to stop me, until they realize not to mess with the guy who doesn't frick with other people. What? I'm still waiting for the day for someone to tell me not to use their trash can for my dog poops. I will literally dump the crap out of the bag onto their doorstep and ask if that's better. I bet you would. I so bet you would. If you attempt to change me in any way, shape, or form, it will end very badly for you. I have my own army at my back. You will not win against. My twin blank is an army of her own, and she'll rip your freaking throat out if you try to hurt me or piss me off. Needless to say, if you screw with me, the very creator of everything, you'll regret it. Wait, what? This... God, these all read so terribly. I'm one half of the creators of the multiverse, spirit realm included. <laughs> what? What? Okay, let's keep going. And promise with my very last breath, if you underestimate me in any way, shape, or form, you'll freaking regret it. I become very cold and distant when I feel that wall has to be put up. You'll regret Regret it if you force this wall up. There are many sides and parts to this nexus, but make no mistake, I can't beat you or anyone else into submission, okay? I have power over all. I can make anyone regret losing me or anyone regret caring. Sorry, I just have to sit for a minute. Literally not one sentence of that made sense. Wow. Y'all mother frickers just want to screw me over. Guess the hell what? You pushed me to my breaking point. I'll ruin everyone's life that screwed me over. You'll freaking suffer and see how bad it freaking feels. You won't catch a break because I never do. You're gonna wish you were dead. Here's a selfie. Just so you know, guys, Trevor is fine. His dad made a tweet saying he's in rehab and going into culinary school. Eh, who cares? I quit drugs all on my own while holding down a job. I'm strong. Now that's something to brag about. Shrugs. He ain't sh Had to be coddled in a rehab. Next. I forget y'all don't have to go to the bathroom in groups for fear of your own safety. Yeah, because men never feel unsafe. Safe because I'm not a pussy. <laughs> what? Jesus, these people are psychotic. That's it. I'm done pulling punches. Screw the woke simp mob. I'm gonna call out every last one or you pathetic, spineless fascists. <laughs> okay. You've been forewarned. Maybe remove me now to save your singular feeling from getting hurt, bastards. Sorry, a really terrible stereotypical southern accent comes out of me when I'm reading stuff like that for some strange reason. Maybe have some freaking respect. Watch your freaking mouth, cause you never realize how small this world is until the guy you insulted is standing in front of you. Tough is an understatement. Take the Biden-clad dildo out of your mouth and realize that it took a week for him to send our country spiraling downward. Snowflakes melt when put to the fire. I'm more like a branding iron. Test me, and I'll leave an impression that 
last forever. Oh, no. Bio, too sweet, but also psycho. Don't screw with me or else. Don't mess with me or anyone I love, cause I'll put you six feet deep and I mean that. I'm someone not to be messed with. Toxic bitch. My motto, accept me for who I am or just frick off. Folks, take a look. If you ever see something like this on the internet, you avoid it at all costs. This right here is a living red flag. Heh, <laughs> knew a guy like that. Big guy too. Had almost a foot on me and maybe 75 pounds. Heard he was talking crap one night. Walked up to him in front of all his boys, four or five. Said, I hear you were talking crap about me, saying this or that. You wanna take a walk out to the parking lot and say that crap to my face, or are you gonna step it up here and be a man about it? Uh, 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 I didn't, uh, what the hell is wrong with you now? Can't say your bull crap when I'm standing in front of you? You got your boys around and you still ain't got no balls? Speak up, asshole. I'm talking to you. Uh, sorry, man. I, uh, what the hell is wrong with you? You can't, I'm sorry I'm reading it like this, but this is how it's freaking written, so sue me, all right? Yeah, next time I hear you talking crap, I'm gonna make sure you ain't talking to nobody for months unless it's mumbling through a wire. I'm a Philly guy. When you see someone cutting everybody behind you so you drive the same speed as someone next to you to block them in? Nah, I carry a gun in the glove compartment and a semi-rifle in the trunk. I really hope you trigger me in traffic. Like, please do it, please. Yeah, we just got done making a movie about this hypothetical situation. And you know what? I'm pretty sure the guy that went crazy and started murdering people wasn't seen as the smart, tough, strong guy. You know what I mean? It's a bit of a jump from mildly inconveniencing someone who's being an a-hole while on the road to <laughs> I got guns, me kill person. Marking Lego Batman 2 off my platinum list. Who cares? You'll die a virgin and never give your parents any grandchildren. How does it feel to be the last of your bloodline because you'd rather play a game than get fresh <laughs> Unlike you, I've dedicated my life to improving myself non-stop to become the peak alpha and omega? I don't think you understand what omega is. I have a new girl over every day begging to be ravaged. <laughs> I am the liberal left's worst nightmare as a gun-carrying straight white male who will never back down. So carry on with your gaming, you pathetic incel, while I have sex with ever girl you ever loved. <laughs> Okay, there was a good part of this that felt super copy pasta until that last sentence. Jesus Christ. My twins, twin blades, are not as lovely as your twins, breasts. <laughs> well, thank you for noticing. I've really been working on them lately. Right now, I'm a click away from using an SQL injection attack to gain access to the database of this website and gain your login credentials as well as your IP address. I'll then proceed to leak your IP address onto my hacker forums and then use an IP locator. I'll easily find your house and your name. With that, I can access your social media accounts and proceed to ruin your life. You think I'm bluffing? You think that just because a bunch of seven-year-old dip say they can hack but actually can't, that I can't either? Let me shatter that facade for you. Using my team of hackers, we can trace that website you visited and what keystrokes you've used, and with that, I can get into your parents' bank account. I can drain it and make you dirt poor. Have you ever felt what it's like to be homeless? Well, you're about to. I can also use cross-site scripting to redirect your web browser to one of my private sites and download child onto your computer. Okay, well, this got way more f***ed up than it had any reason to be. No, you can't. You're just spewing a bunch of shit straight out of an A-plus or a Network Plus textbook. Go back to school for the love of God, my guy. Haha, <laughs> I just read about SQL in my A-plus. I'm a threaten people on Facebook. You may find me dead in a ditch somewhere, but by God, you'll find me in a pile of brass and you'll have hit absolutely nobody. <laughs> Well, it's very strange. We found this guy dead in a ditch surrounded by spent shell casings. He's probably just shooting up in the air or some dumb sh**. Nothing like eating a sandwich and some random girl I know sends me pictures of her titties. Why are people like this? My chest kinda hurts. Maybe I'm a die. Or it's the 30 sets of benching I did yesterday. <laughs> 30 sets of what? Zero? I love coffee. I drink at least 10 cups a day. I once heard some talk about how that isn't healthy. I laughed and ripped his throat out, then screwed his average wife for a week before blocking her. I don't take health advice from men I can destroy. So let me get this straight. You drink a lot of coffee, someone was concerned about your health, so you literally murdered him and then did some real freaky sh** with his wife for about a week. Are we supposed to believe that? Sorry, there's a second contact for my brother. I guess this is the old one. Yo, I don't know who the hell you are, but let me make it clear. 
Let me make it freaking super clear. You are to erase this number and never in your life feel like you can call, text, or freaking dream of contacting this gorgeous lady. You're beneath her. You could never reach her level. Your interaction was her pity, her feeling sorry for you, and your pathetic attempt. We're laughing at you, dumbass. You ain't sh Next time, let me know where you are so I can find you and end you. Who's your brother? I'm the dangerous one in the family. I don't care how I'd go out. Better recognize. Yeah, I recognize that you're a freaking weirdo. Taking up space where there isn't any is dangerous. Blocking people is equally dangerous. There are more than one kind of dangerous jerk on the road. Yeah, very good point. No need to add any further. If you do that to me, be prepared to be challenged to pull over and personally talk about it one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Look out, he's gonna give you a good talking to, which none of you ever do. You're all a bunch of cowards sitting in your car. You're not so brave when you're standing on your own two feet. It's almost as if everyone else has better things to do than to have to talk with a random stranger who has road rage. I'm a law firm believer that there's no personal responsibility or good behavior in this country anymore because nobody gets their teeth knocked out. The cops do way too much where that's concerned and nowhere near enough to keep people from being passive aggressive a-holes. <gasps> And full stops. Also, let me just translate that last part for you. I was physically beaten growing up as a way of discipline, and now I think that's the only way to teach people the right from wrong. And if you disagree with me, I'm a Will Smith, yeah? Haha, <laughs> you're not bad. I'm ruthless and merciless with cheaters. If you're blatantly cheating me and the boys will light you up in all the sensitive places you can think of and keep doing it. What? Are you trying to intimidate me or seduce me to a good time? What? Shot this dude once, he rubbed the spot, so I shot him and then carried on. So I put about 20 rounds into his neck, nuts, and fingers. Oh, I'm getting the, the context here. They're talking about, like, airsoft. This isn't an actual gun. <laughs> Bro, who gets shot 20 times by an actual gun and, <laughs> and can get aggro? What? He got all aggro and asked me why I kept shooting. I said, I don't like cheaters. Call it the first time. I saw you rub where I just shot you. Me and the boys are big dudes. <laughs> Again, are you are you threatening me to a good time? Because it really... So no one really challenged it. Our scuba became the most honest place to play. <laughs> we do make allowances though. Running and the round hits you in the vest and you don't feel it. Sweet as... We just shoot you again. Okay, again, your threats throughout this just sounded like innuendo. I understand if that one was too far. <laughs> You either have the experience and training and fortitude to both stay alive and actually help, or someone like me puts a boot on your neck to keep you screaming for mom from attracting fire. And I'll keep you from screaming anyway, I have to, for as long as I have to before leaving you where I found you. That's just the reality of combat. You're telling me you'd get far away from me? Oh, don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah, I'll slap this sign of paper on my window. If I stay Staying safe in my own house, they'll feel so threatened to the a-hole who tore down my old Trump flag. You are a coward! I will find you! And after I finish with you, you are going to wish I had killed. So it's a bit, bit of space extra into there, the space. You! You will not be able to go outside without feeling self-conscious about your looks, and you will not be able to procreate. Joke's on you, I've got a vasectomy! Smash his window. No! To be quite frank, I would dominate this entire group uh -huh. in a real fight. Uh -huh. No training needed. I just black out and see red. No one has beaten me yet. Except yourself, right? At least two times a day, I'd reckon, you horny, lonely little boy. Lol, you wish, clown. I hope you enjoy things outside of cinema and gaming. It sounds like you need to take a break from screen time. Okay, go, go, go touch some grass, moron. You probably can't lift a quarter of what I can in the gym. Oh, what can you lift? Over a hundred pounds. Ah, dang, I can only lift my girlfriend to bed when she's too tired after we spend a whole day together. I have torn my hamstring so many times and I keep running. It don't stop me. I still got respect that he got up, though, but if it would have been me up, I would be up right away. But people also tell me I have a high pain tolerance, so, you know. What about emotional tolerance? It's fine! Never funk with a funked up funker that doesn't give a funk. <clears throat> Hell yes, we dangerous. 
Roy. Oh dear lord, this person started with quotation marks. They're actually trying to narrate themselves. I stand behind you in line at the store with a smile on my face and a gun under my shirt. And you are none the wiser. Yet you are safer for having me next to you. <laughs> I won't shoot you. My gun won't pull its own trigger. It is securely holstered with the trigger covered. It can't just go off. However, rest assured that if a lunatic walks into the grocery store and pulls out a Ripley, I will draw my wiener a pistol and protect myself and my family, and therefore protect you and your wiener family. I may freeze up. I may go tinkle twinkle in my little pajamas. I may get shot before I can pull the trigger, but I won't die in a helpless blubbering heap on the- <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, I opened a bag of popcorn, the kernels went flying, I'm so sorry. That's okay, I, I was just showing them what I, I wouldn't do, you know. <clears throat> I won't die in a helpless, blubbering heap on the floor, begging for my life or my child's life. I won't be that victim. I choose not to be. As for you, I don't ask you to carry a gun. If you are not comfortable, then please don't. But I would like to keep my right to choose to not be a helpless victim. There is evil in the world, and if evil has a gun, I want one too. Yeah, that's the funny thing about evil people. They're often unfortunately blinded by how much they think they're the hero. Maybe reflect on that. Hi, madam, I'd, uh, I'd like you to know that I don't care. Uh, okay, is that a cocktail or- No, 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 I don't care. A about what? what? No, like, you know, I, j I just don't care. I just I just need you to know that. What? I need everyone to be aware uh, um, but, that's yeah, me. About what? Okay, I need you to respect that about me. Well, I live by what I say. I hold others accountable and myself. I don't just spout off like most people. No, you're so different. Go on. And yes, I'm actually quite freaking tough. <laughs> I homestead, fight mama, and work on Strushion. I've wrestled for 15 years with my uncle. I've gotten very used to rubbing baby oil on me. Have always watched my mouth and answered to the consequences. I've been on my deathbed and survived. So yes, I am. A loser! I don't know about anyone else, but I think I could win in a 1v1 fight with one of them. Okay, a spotted hyena have a bite force of over 1,100 PSI, one of the strongest in the world. Can't bite me if it's knocked out. Alright, Mike Tyson, calm down. Bring it on, hyena, I've got a strong pain tolerance. What about do you have no. emotional no. tolerance? No! <laughs> Stop laughing at me! I'm insecure! Yo, she bad as hell. Uh, what you mean by that? Oh, cotton 4K. That's not funny, joke or not. You still need jail if I find your address and name. You better pray I forgot this. Oh, I'm all for protecting minors against creepy people, but that that's... You are creepy. Not in the same way, just you're like a different flavor of creepy. Don't mess with this Home Depot employee. She lifts paint buckets, dog. I wish I could say I spat in his paint, but I digress. I made his paint under five minutes because I just wanted him out of there at that point. As I was tinting the paint, he had the audacity to tell me he only needed one wing nut. And since he found one on the floor, he was going to keep it. As if he knew I really didn't want to punch him square on his crooked nose, but couldn't. I really hate getting underestimated, just because I'm a 5 foot 3 little girl. Little do they know, I lift 5 gallon paint buckets every day, dog. I won't hesitate to knock you down on your butt if and when I can. <coughs> Until then, I'll act like the stupid girl treat they treat me as. Since they know so much, they can help themselves. I don't care anymore. Yeah, look, all to you for being sick and tired of, uh, you know, this behavior from men. But, um, don't... <laughs> Back yourself up by saying you can lift paint buckets. <laughs> These men think I'm a dainty girl, but little do they know, I can drive a truck. Yeah, that, ooh, I'm so valuable now. If you break into my house and I yell, Honey, get the Velveeta. Just remember that door was locked for your protection. Again, these trigger-happy kind of people are the ones who think they're the heroes. But hey, you know, it looks can be deceiving. Maybe these things are literally uh, little crackers. I'm gonna guess in either scenario, the guest will be tasting one of them. You obviously know very little about the fighting game. Consider being quiet. 
before you think about lighting it up, you should know I'm a 5 foot 8, 230 pound boxer with two and a half years experience, and I'm also an alpha male. God damn it. It was inevitable on this subreddit. Oh, but people, that is apparently 0.7% of the American population. And this stranger commenting on YouTube just happens to be part of that society. Ah, oh, makes as much sense as Ferrari advertising to poor people. I'm like a salmon fish flying upstream against the flaw. I don't want anything to do with what people trend or the masses choose. Everyone follows like sheep and asleep in the matrix. Oh, the matrix. Like that, that whole fantasy scenario and environment, the world even, that is based off a trendy movie that was very popular among the masses. Bro, I got a video from when I was 13, just 315, and it wasn't my max. Bruh. Well, he never said deadlifting, so I guess we'll never be able to know if he can truly lift well. Also, to be able to lift that at 13 years old, you either have the god of genetics, or such concentrated muscle mass at that age that you're gonna have a, just a terrible growth spurt, and enjoy your adult life with short man syndrome. Pain is tough. You can't escape it. You feel it mentally and physically. Pain's so good. I know because I play football. I bang head a lot. Me, I'm, I'm, I feel good. What watching the Batman does to a mother flipper. Now, now, kitten. Daddy isn't happy. Oh, wow, it is the Batman. See? He used eyeshadow. <laughs> The iconic Batman costume, the basic makeup. Well, that does it. We need a PSA to deter anyone letting their angsty teenage boys watch the Batman. But on the other end of things, if you've ever wanted your son to enjoy the idea of makeup, why throw dirt on your name when I could throw it on your coffin? Is that a threat to murder me? You, you yeah. are stating right now, online, for everyone to know that uh -huh. you are threatening to kill me. Well, like we're going to put that on the record. You no, know, I'm just saying. Presenting this jolly old man to be taking part in the new Cluedo Interactive Theatre performance. Say he looks like a lot of fun, can't wait to interact with him at the show, wonder what he's about. I am no one to be trifled with. That is all you ever need, no. Great, I can't wait for him to be harassing me at my table. I'm the reason your dad double checks the front door at night. Don't get it confused. This proud American says. Yeah, I've been online longer than most of you have been alive. Powered by Xenox R35A7. I cannot die. My code will not allow it. <laughs> now prepare for your new overlords. Pain don't bathe her ass, I had bathe her? What? The pain don't wash us in a bathtub, I had my teeth knocked out with a bat and was still standing, frick you! No, no, sorry, that wasn't an actual bat, that was just little 16 year old Steven here, he, you know, he saw the Batman, he found his mother's makeup again, he likes to roleplay a bit. Yeah, but Big Gun sends more of a message. I think any gun sends more than enough of a message if it's pointed at you. Well, if you point a 22 at me, I'll laugh in your face. Yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> okay, this is, their response to this, I know it's meant to them. They're trying to be more intimidating, but no, no. What it sounds like is encouragement. You'd probably do more damage if you peed on my face. Come on. Big boy, show me how tough you are. Don't intimidate me with a gun. Um, you know, I'll be more intimidated if you pee on me. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna be so scared. That mission we talked about around Christmas, it's about to start soon. They fricked with the wrong family. To people who literally rely on these things as weaponry, like, they're aware that guns exist, right? But I understand the need for a silent kill, but Electra's dagger's there and... <laughs> <laughs> bad orangs, which are only really... Uh, they break the laws of physics. We ain't gonna see a comic book in your honor. We're just gonna see you in the obituaries. Oh, but at least you got some support on your Facebook echo chamber. Get him! Guess he's on the prowl. Oh, wait, that's just the OP. <laughs> People sleep peacefully in their beds at night only because rough men stand ready to commit violence on their behalf. What's that, madam? Your child here is being annoying and won't go to sleep? You rest easy. I'll beat the Schmidt out of them. <laughs> I'm 0.7% of the population. I'm an alpha. I cut myself in nine places with a saw and probably needed stitches. I just yelled, Schmidt, now my saw is bloody. And I walked home with a blood-coated hand. No, you don't understand. Purposefully not tending to my wounds and allowing them to possibly get infected or become worse situations for me is considered an alpha move because I'm not smart enough to take care of my health. 
That is literally how I would react, probably. Right after I beat you to death that fast. I've broken <laughs> bones, even as a child, and I don't remember ever screaming. When I broke my collarbone in second grade, I literally walked home and then told my parents that I think my arm is broken, and they didn't believe me because I wasn't crying or anything. Then after 10 minutes of examination, them forcing me to try and move my arm over my head. Why do you make it seem like some big deal that they had to like, oh, they had to really try and persuade you. Oh, cause you're just so resilient. Look at you not listening to basic instructions. Oh, what a man. They finally took me to the hospital and there we realized I had actually snapped my collarbone on the right side clean in half. This is only one example. Please don't tell us any others. Screaming is oh, absolutely- Absolutely useless and a very controllable reaction. I mean, tell me you're a psychopath without telling me you're a psychopath. Okay, before we even look at the bedsheet, just want to focus on the two bedside dresses or drawers, whatever you call those things. Notice their nice aesthetic. You know, they, they've got a nice life to them. There's color, there's freshness. They light up the room. Now, guess which part of the bedroom the man needed to just, you know, show that this was a man's room as well. Yeah, let's look at this entire bed. Wow, this bed's bread. Mmm, just fits aesthetically perfectly. Best a-hole husband ever. Best bech wife ever. It's you and me against the world, baby. We freaking got this. You're the sexy, hot, basically naked lady with my hand on her butt, sitting on me and seducing me next to my sexy motorcycle. And me being a brittle carcass of bones, I'm equally pleasing to look at. Yes, this bedsheet is not at all my perverted fantasy. Thinking back to my brother's 21st birthday party when everyone found out my brother's girlfriend, now ex, was sleeping with his best friend. So I started throwing punches at the ex-girlfriend and ex-best friend with a wrist I had broken two days prior. Meanwhile, my two best friends went through my brother's ex's house gathering all my bro's stuff and pouring lemonade all over her carpet and furniture. My boyfriend and brother were at the door convincing the cops nothing was happening while I was screaming bloody murder in the living room. Eh, I'm somewhat good on you for supporting your sibling through all this ordeal, but that hair and that makeup, I look, I'm not surprised the rest happened based on your own direction. Great job admitting to vandalism, by the way. I'm sure the ex will be happy to place charges. Hey, look, it's the guy who has that sexy bedding. I don't know, grow thicker skin, I guess. <laughs> and you can talk, Mr. Skeleton? If someone pointed out my mistakes, I'd take it and go on with my life. Not argue with some dude with a berserk skeleton profile picture. <laughs> Well, I mean, at least he's self-aware. This is the skin of a killer. Oh, it's a killer, all right. Depending on how long your pale butt stands in the sun. Skin, skin cancer. cancer! Oh, see, I think Will was right on the spot. If any man ever causes pain to my chick or dot or mother or grandmother, you'd be lucky with just a slap. At the cut where we are or who watching. Now, see, if I was your chick, your daughter, your mother, or your grandmother, I would purposefully set you up in situations where you were constantly insulted these people and would just you'd force yourself to keep slapping yourself but oh it'd be great entertainment be vigilant your security is an illusion it could all a scholar collapse tomorrow i thought it was gonna say escape i'll admit peace democracy and prosperity are not the norm in history suffering is the fittest will survive to make stronger people not snowflakes with sociology degrees and pink hair man these tough people are really they really are scared of pink hair aren't they ah oh, different opinion <laughs> hmm something about this airsoft player tells me that this is the only thing going good in their life I've already had enough of your bullshit it's literally the last comment section I'm ever going on do you want my height and weight no no no, no one else. We're good. I'm 160 pounds currently I've been training for three years I'm 18 I'm five foot eight I like long walks on the beach and I'm honestly just looking for someone to settle down with and find my true love I mean I'm looking for a fight in a mixed martial arts setting amateur level. I'm based in California. Oh god, there's no full stop in this entire comment. But I can come. To Oregon or Nevada, hell, I'll even go all the way to Arizona. But you want to keep running your freaking mouth about bishing? Well, see who's bishing. You show up to this fine at all. Even talk to my coach. <gasps> and ask him to set up the venue you want to keep running your mouth. Come show up. You can run it while you call for a rematch. Because you got your butt beat. Yeah, I'm gonna pound you. Okay, easy, man. I'm gonna pound that butt. Yeah, your threats are sounding a bit different than threats. Gonna pound you so hard. 
please, make my freaking year. I'd love nothing more than to shut your mouth. If you bigger, I'll grapple you, open weight, and I will literally break you mentally, then physically. And I promise if you don't pass out, it will be the best lesson you are ever taught. Next person may not be so nice as to warn you instead of sucker punching the frick out of you and letting your head splat on concrete. I'm just a nice guy, I suppose. <laughs> oh, this has got to be the trifecta of pathetic. Thinks they're an alpha, trying to solicit a fight over the internet, and thinks they're the nice guy. I may not be fit, but it is hard to kill a shadow, and I am a shadow. I'll blend into anything and everything and kill without being spotted. Oh, very sneaky, very powerful technique. Ooh, a torch. No. Nah. Knock his teeth out for even trying to teach my kid his ways. Lol, no you won't. Way to be keyboard tough. The sheer idiocy behind believing someone's looks somehow translate to them projecting their belief or ways is astonishing. Grow the frick up. You clearly don't know me. Oh, don't worry, we know enough. Don't know why there's so many boogie board videos lately, but I'm never disappointed. Ah, uh, skimboard. Yeah, well that's because kids realize that surfing is hard. Back in the 90s and 2000s, you'd get blasted by the beach for using a boogie board on my local zones. Same with the Razor scooters. This new generation is a bunch of softies who do lame stuff instead of cool stuff. Way to hold on to your childhood there, buddy. You, you got this, you keep going. Bodyboarding isn't the video above. Bruv, that's a skimboard. Bodyboarding is cool on big waves. Boogie was never cool, and it's the same kids wearing thrasher tees. Back in my day, you'd get beat up for rocking gear like that. Hashtag poser. Oh, someone wants to justify beating up others because they were beaten up by things. The dumbest thing you can possibly do is piss off my wife. She'll open up the gates of hell. I can't tell if this is a wife bad joke or if you're being I am very badass on her behalf. I can't tell. What I let you see versus how I feel. The reality of my life isn't based off of your opinion. I feel like a monster. Maybe it's time to act like one. You look like the sun with a birth defect. Mom, noun, someone who works 365 days a year with no days off, will care, nurture, and love you unconditionally will beat your ass with a smile if you mess up. Hey, um, that means you're a bad mom. I'm not being ironic here. I'm not. You should try it. Just insult some complete stranger and destroy their self-confidence. It's actually a good stress reliever. Trust me, IRL I have the natural ability to strike the fear of God into people. Really? Gonna put a Bible quote? Okay, Ezekiel 2517 is one of my life's mottos too, but I don't just say things to people, I wouldn't say that they're f uh, uh, what? Man, shut up, dude! I would ruin that man's career by the third round. This guy's only had a couple of name brand fights. Name brand fights? What is he, fighting a f iPod? Oh, on a video about Conor McGregor. Yeah, look, I don't like the guy, really at all. He seems to be kind of not cool, but you know what? I still think he would kill you. Look. Keyboard warriors really need to watch Guns Akimbo. It's so fun. Don't try to mess with me. Or, or I'll hack your Discord. Fake news. And get in jail. And most probably get killed there. You can't hack me, I have a VPN. So what? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, man, he doesn't give a crap. He doesn't even give a care, bro. Dude, you need to grow up. That was embarrassing for you. You don't know who I am, do you? Serious question. How do you feel about not breathing? Yeah, you're a dumb sh LOL. Pretty ballsy of you to be talking to me. You're so boring. Make me laugh. Hehe, <laughs> wanna fight me? Prove your worth. Dude, stop. He was right, and you just keep embarrassing yourself further. Wow, so scary. Totally didn't see that coming. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda immune to some jump scares. That doesn't mean anything. And yes, I'm 13 and can probably still kick your ass. If you want me to, I can prove the man you're not to your wife. By the way, tell her I have a d stronger than a 12-valve Cummins. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Shut up, dude. Hi there. I'm blank. Call me blank if you want. I'm 5'2 and 100 pounds. I bench and lift, so if you try any funny sh both of us would get hurt? Don't try me. I'm against abuse unless I'm asking for it. What? I like to slap my man, and I don't expect to see that... What? So spare me those tears. I want a growl. I'm a biker chick. I love Lignard Skinner, Led Zeppelin, Ozzy, Metallica, Tool, and more. I have a sick and dirty sense of humor with a bad mouth. 
I'm very confused by that bio. Like, uh, uh, comment in a video about a deer attacking a hunter. Dude believes he could have fought the deer. Shows how inadequate the average man is unarmed against nature. Even a prey item. A prey item? Because he obviously has no training when it comes to grappling. Even just high school level wrestling taught me to get in close and sweep the legs. That would have put the deer on its back or side and given the guy adequate time to run away. But this guy panicked. Look, there's only one man that can fight a deer truthfully. And it's the guy that owns the burger truck from Big Top Burger. Steve, that dude can fight a deer. No one else can, though, as far as I'm concerned. She wouldn't have made it outside if she slapped me. The universe doesn't put me in these situations for a reason. <laughs> wow, you must be a badass. If someone calls me a slur, I'll use it as an excuse to get violent and take anger out on them. This is a very common thought process that I use also. No one should have to be the bigger person. You're f weird. Someone asked about how is living in a nice neighborhood. Thanks for that title, really appreciate it. Walk to Edgewater. It's lovely. Obviously cars get broken into everywhere. I'll have to bring my guns. For what? Protection, silly. From? That don't mean buddy. I'm five foot seven, 145, and Irish, and haven't lost a street fight yet. See, that's the funny thing about street fights. There's absolutely no record of them whatsoever, so hey, can't prove you didn't have them, right? Nice, very clever. I guarantee I'm already further than you'll ever be. All bark, no bite, as he responds over the internet. You would be shaking in your boots in person. Uh, I actually wear tennis shoes. If you feel that passionate, let's meet face to face. See if you keep the same energy. I'll wait. Come on, tough guy, here's your chance to be the big man on campus. You're in Austin? Can be, let me know, anytime and anywhere. Knew you were a coward. Remember to stretch those fingers out, keyboard warrior. I'm a long dong daddy with fists of steel and a nose for trouble. Sure you are. Give me an address so I can find out myself. Waiting. It really is fun to mess with people like that, though. It's so satisfying. Facts are facts and I ain't set. Afraid to throw up my set and throw it up. That's why I ride on 24s and I'm throw it up hi while i'm screaming so loud i'm screaming west side facts are facts i'm the track wrecker list listing to i'm sorry guys this is really hard listing to turn it up chameleon air because if you're you're with me you're vip i need you to try that again please only effeminate males enjoy being around babies and puppies child comes to me when it's useful and has some baseline human ability for character building and teaching Dog, stay away from me until it's ready to serve and obey. OMG, it's so cute. Absurd to those without a vagina. Fellas, is it gay to be happy? If you see me in the garage practicing my nunchucks with my Crocs on, just keep driving. I'm in the zone, and I don't want you getting pregnant. This one's been a joke for years, by the way. I don't know why that's on this sub. Just had some stupid cow get her nose put of joint cause I paid in cash. She shut up after taking one look at me wearing flak jeans, black boots, gunmetal glasses, and a shirt with no fear on it. Mm, to my reply. Yeah, well, I deal in cash. That gold, silver, and jewels? I'm actually a registered... Okay. You're a hero, man. Nah, just an asshole. <laughs> well, at least you admit it. Thanks. Because now people are babies, dude. I've seen people get a scratch, if you could call it that, and go to the hospital. Boy, I broke my arm, and it was like for a few days before realizing it. That's why I made this. You're probably one of the baby kids, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm one of the baby kids, sure. Am I pretty? Yes. Am I built like a Valkyrie? Yes. Do I own several swords? Yes. So maybe don't make that comment you're thinking about making. Just don't. This is probably a joke tweet, but... The swords thing? All right, we'll get you your trilby later. Literally started punching my table. Christian Spader, quit being a b Go fight an opponent, tough guy, and then talk. 12 to two MMA record right here. So save any more tough talk. Punching tables and walls for pussies. I'd put this on nobody asked as well, honestly. I could punch through a helmet easily. You're assuming the object is against a wall that would not allow any energy absorbing movement. Pull back on impact. Also, I do not think you can actually punch through a helmet. You might be able to break the visor, but still, with all the padding in there, the damage to the wearer would be minimum, and your hand would sustain more damage most likely. 
Overall, punching a helmet is a bad idea as they are designed to protect the wearer. There are many other areas more vulnerable if you absolutely must engage in such behavior. I'd punch a hole right through it, and a skull, too. Well, we believe you, don't worry. I've had this happen to me, and she was serious. She took Krav Maga and thought she was a trained killer. I arm-dragged her to the ground, took her back with seatbelt, then whispered into her ear, what are you going to do now? She started training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu after that and quit Krav. How long was it after this happened that your alarm clock went off? <laughs> No idea what you're inferring. Would you like to come to where I train? I'd be more than happy to disabuse you of your notion. Seems like you know exactly what they're inferring. Our girlfriend. Wanna say that again, bud? Because I'm gonna beat you up if you take her. Too late! Welcome to communism, comrade. We'll take good care of our female comrade in high spirit. In all seriousness, that's my girl. Either back off or get messy, and trust me, you do not want that. Shut up! Pro Wrestler tries to describe how he will hurt people who insult him online. <laughs> Here we go. I hate fighting. But if all of you hate me so much, take a swing. You can even hit me from behind. We'll settle the issue and you can report back to Jim with the news. News of the spiral fractions down your legs and a face that looks like a bowl of ravioli. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, dude. Frankly, I don't see much difference between any of you. You all want the same things in life. You all need the same things to survive. You all look down your noses at others who aren't like you. Simple creatures. You people all look the same to me. No offense. None taken, I guess? My friend kept complaining about a minor burn from touching something hot, so I held my arm over a candle until you could smell my flesh burning. You okay, buddy? No, but unrelated to that. That was related to you not being okay. Nah, that was me trying to show him what pain is. Look, I know you just turned 11, but chill. Same, if I'm really angry and in one of my scary psychopath moods, I'll dress up like the Joker and listen to Jekyll and Hyde by Five Finger Death Punch. That way, people know I mean business. It's fun to see the look of fear on all the normies' faces when I let some of my dark side show. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, god damn it. This spider hoe scarred me when I was a kid. Still scary as f Can't believe it's rated PG, peasants. I watched that movie when I was five and it was my favorite. It still is, and I never got scared. Don't worry, we believe ya. Yeah, I'm a big guy, not fat, and spent 25 years in special operations. I often wear a hat or a t-shirt with sniper, ranger, special forces or something. I had a guy complain to a TO after he lost that he lost because I was intimidating and he was scared if he won, I would kill him. I should you not. He lost because he made bad moves, positioned badly, forgot to shoot with some units, etc. When I mentioned that, he stated he made those mistakes because of my toxic masculinity, and now he was too scared because he feared for his life. You can imagine what this punk looked like, what team he played for, and his political affiliation. Uh-huh. I said, so because I work out, I can't play Warhammer? And he pushed his blue-green hair out of his face and said, yes. I've been playing with this since Necromunda? I don't know what that means. This happened to me while I was stationed in California, if that helps explain things. It doesn't. You're making shit up. This feels like a copy pasta. This guy posted a video of himself rock climbing and had two chalk bags on, one on either side of him. Only one centered at the lower back is typical for you non-climbers. Two chalk bags. Interesting. I have to use two chalk bags because my arms are too large to reach around and use one on my back. I need you to prove that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ain't finna lie, I've been working out a little bit and I've been getting a little big. I quite like it. It's nice having a good body. Well, I mean, good for you though. So I got into a fight tonight. Not gonna lie, bad choice to fight a Samoan guy. Got me pretty good. Might have broken a knuckle or two, so yeah. I'm not gonna shit on you for the first post. That's fine. Should be able to take pride in your appearance, you know? But yeah, maybe don't fight a Samoan guy, <laughs> I mean... No, I'd never end up in this situation because A, if I lived with someone, I'd make sure my name is on the lease, and B, I command a healthy balance of respect and fear from most people I meet. Because A, I'm nice to them unless they're a to me, and B, anyone that pisses me off will find out I'm about as stable as a one-legged table, so I can go from raising my voice slightly to trying to choke the life out of- Yeah, you sound like a great roommate. Yeah, absolutely. The type of guy that I would love to be controlling the lease. His eyes are cold, but his faces are goofy. I'm a smiling and loving individual. I'm goofy. I'm silly. I make silly faces. I do different accents and impressions, and I admit they're well-rehearsed and accurate. But lately, the past couple of years, a new temperament has come into my life. I've become hardened. Mean mugs, stares, and eyes that are cold. 
have been intolerable of excuses, of lies, and will say them even when I know people don't want to hear it. But instead of hiding the hardened side of me, and instead of changing and suppressing my goofiness, I've decided to embrace both, the shadow and the light. And when I put on those gym clothes and headphones, it's time to flip the Rolodex of memories and embrace the suffering and enjoy it. Because you'll either succumb or succeed thanks to suffering. I enjoy it, and I make it part of my routine because that's what life is. It's beautiful and it's ugly. If you don't choose both, there's no contingency plan for what there is to come. Dude, just go to the gym like a normal person. Nobody ask. Well, a lone wolf, yeah, I can take one on. Wolves are actually not that much more dangerous than... Oh, Jesus Christ. You really overestimate a wolf, don't you? Alone, they don't really pose a threat. You want to avoid getting attacked by one, stand your ground. In fact, it's even smart to charge forward. If they think you aren't intimidated, they back away. Then again, you wouldn't know unless you actually camp out as frequently, I guess. Right, yeah. I would say I'd love to see you fight a wolf, but I really don't want something not safe for life going into my eyes. My hands are akin to iron. Hardened implements of enormous weight. I have no need for your languid wage cucking. I've known the ultimate trial of life and death face to face with my fellow man. To sunder a living soul from its corporal form. Corporeal? Corporeal? I, I don't see that word very often. I think it was corporal. Blood! I'm Miracle. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. I was always told to defend everything that matters. When I was four, almost five, I got a book. It was called or Booby Trap for Christmas. I had to be a martial artist since I was five. I had to know what appliances would kill someone faster. Okay, Jesus Christ. By the time I was eight, I was teaching police departments. <laughs> There it is! There it is! Sometimes I feel like making trouble. I'm quite strong. There's a girl who used to be my crush. She's mean now. She's a thought, so she don't get a boyfriend, but talks to many boys. Those boys wouldn't stand a chance to me if they were to fight me. I can bench press their weight and almost shoulder press it. They're also way smaller and less wider than me. Okay. Honey, come take my photo while I burn a copy of USA Today. Damn, you look really badass, friend. <laughs> Nintendo clearly haven't met me. I'm the sort that, if I get a DMCA, I'll simply tell whoever who sent it to F off, and we'll just continue making whatever I got the DMCA for. I can't be stopped. I won't stop there either. Look, dude, Nintendo is asshole. I get it, we all get it, but that's not how it works, unfortunately. So dude, don't play dumb with me. Let's play together. Apex Legends, everyone. I play a lot with Mike, so let's be friends. Seriously, I hate late reply. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. I hate pretenders. That's cool. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. This is a trappable deluxe Simba costume. The wear ring is stuck inside and cannot get out without help. This is so there's no mishaps with wardrobe so something doesn't come off. I wouldn't go inside without a knife. I don't trust people to let me out. Too many people have stabbed me in the back, so I've learned I must take care of myself. Go back to Facebook, please, for the love of God. Look, I'm not saying that this is any better, but please, stop it. Alone alone? My tungsten club. I'm six foot two, about 280 pounds, and this thing is a hunk of metal weighing in at about 11. There's a machete inside, all right, but I'm not gonna bother with that. I can't tell you how much damage I think this thing would do. Someone could block two swings before they're out of working arms, and my only real concern would be manslaughter charges. Realistically alone? A f mop. I have four monster dogs that... Oh my god, you're so lame. Don't underestimate me. I can go from lady to bat crazy in two seconds. Wow, what a lovable trait. <laughs> okay, so what's your favorite type of snake? Snakes you can keep as a pet and don't bite because they're cute as hell? Yeah, not gonna lie. Non-venomous, of course. But you know, since I'm a very violent person, I'd like to keep a cobra snake. Thanks for the bold. Um... Would drink a bit of its venom every day and then become resistant. That'd be another reason why I don't want to visit you. ha 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 Yeah, this dude doesn't like you. Are you not able to tell? No joke. I've been training in MMA now for six years. And simultaneously, I've been boxing for seven. I've also been weightlifting for four. All right, just shy of two meters and 86 kilos, I have crazy speed and reaction time that matches the aforementioned speed. I can beat a gorilla barehanded. I would love to see that. I only need to wait for him to rush on me. I will dodge, then clobber him in his head. I won't let him go. As soon as he makes a mistake, the gorilla is done. 
Here, you'll always find some virgins that'll tell you it's impossible. Nothing is impossible if you have some will first. And it's not with your cowardly physics that you will do anything. Any man that has been trained at least a little can beat a gorilla if they're given a baseball bat. Barehanded, it's not necessarily much harder, it just requires some skills. You're delusional. You work for the gorillas just luring people to their death. Oh! Oh, I get it. You were being funny. That actually is a fantastic copypasta. <laughs> you work for the gorillas. What screams alpha more than a katana? Two katanas. Yeah, I'm willing to agree to that. Sure. I mean, look at this guy. He's exuding testosterone. <laughs> oh, Keanu Reeves messed a lot of people up, man. Gyms are a scam. How you look is determined by your genetics and diet. Lifting weights like an ape just causes injuries and takes away time that could be spent on intellectual pursuits that benefit society. <laughs> okay, now we're going the other direction. Good stuff. <clears throat> Gyms should be banned altogether from this country. Not only are they clearly unhygienic and spread viruses, but they've sucked money from low-income families and created waves of depression and body dysmorphia through distorting our perceptions of healthy and fit. I don't train at gyms, and I guarantee I'm stronger, fitter, and smarter than any of those meatheads. Okay, you guarantee it. We're going to need to see the proof. The proof is in the pudding, sweetheart. You can't just talk like this and expect everyone to go, you know what? This guy's probably telling the truth, am I right? I'm right. We'll punch you in the face and leave you on the road if you dare film him doing a nice thing. All right? In March, I will be using my DoorDash money to help a disabled homeless person I come across on the street each Saturday after I accumulated the cash from driving each night after work. If you want to ride with me while I do it to help, then let me know. If I catch you videotaping me doing this, I will drop you off in the middle of Tillamook at the creamery after I punch you in the face for being a trash person. So please let me know. All March, Saturday are open two spots per Saturday. We need a spot in my car for the person we are helping. I don't want to help you. Would have loved to been there for this so I could have leveled that man. Love when I get opportunities to mash men lime that. <laughs> I'm not reading it again. You call it eating meat. I call it devouring the flesh of the beasts that roam the earth and absorbing their life energy to fuel your never-ending conquest. Okay, Grandpa. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinion of a sheep. That's why you had to put that on a fucking shirt. Because you don't care. At all, for sure. No, look, the reason you're wearing that shirt is because you want someone to start some dumbass fight with you. No one cares, dude. Last night, I let my daughter paint my nails. This morning, all these men at the gym are looking at me with disgust. I'm staying level-headed by knowing a man with painted fingernails will beat the shit out of them if need be. I don't think anybody was looking at you at all. No one gives a shit. Guess I won't put my bicycle there. Harley Davidson Reserve Parking. All others will be crushed. Uh-huh. Walk away. This forklift operator... Hold on, I can't read that, I gotta zoom in. ...has anger issues and a serious dislike for stupid people. The forklift operator thing leads me to believe this is some kind of ironic shirt. Piss me off, pay the consequences. Shut the fuck up and drink your tea. Ooh-wee, this one's gonna be a little difficult to read. This is ugly as hell. Be polite, be professional, but have a plan to kill everybody you meet. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. I've heard this before. Oh yeah! Marine Corps General James Mad Dog Mattis. The Secretary of Defense. Or was at one point. Doesn't matter. Huh. It's a strange quote to be wearing around in the normal world, though. Dude messaged me this because I commented it takes eight weeks to get his poster in the mail? I recently pulled a dude bigger than you out of his car, on the side of the road, and beat him bloody. I'm a felon and have spent time in prison. Let's meet up, I'll put you in a body bag. Ever been stabbed in the neck? Let's meet up. You wanna go on like a date or something? I am an asshole man. I love freedom, drink beer, and I love my wife. I protect my family, I eat meat, and I own guns. If you don't like it, move. Like out of your way, out of the country, out of the city, state, county, where, where would you like me to go? Because honestly, you could point to anywhere on the f***ing map and it would probably be a thousand times better than living next to someone who thinks wearing that shirt is cool. 15-year-old's review of American Psycho. He is literally me. That's such... Shut the f*** up. I feel the same, and I am old with an IQ of 142. 
Same. If nuclear war happens, Putin better hope that I don't survive. Why? You gonna f***ing swim across the ocean and find him? You gonna rebuild that old ice bridge from Alaska? Huh? What are you gonna do? Wife and I stood outside with the kids and watched it in the rain, teaching my kids to be fearless. Listen here, you 90-year-old smelly, fat, wrinkly, raisin-looking whale. I've never seen a person as horrifyingly ugly as you. When you will lack into a room, everybody runs out. You are a disgusting human being. Now be nice to me or I will personally make sure you don't wake up tomorrow. Just send back a K. Uppercase K, period. Let's get one thing real clear. I avoid conflict not because I'm scared of you. It's because I'm scared of myself. My temper can go zero to death row real quick. Uh-huh. A dude asked me if I was gay because I held the door open for his girl, but I didn't turn to look at her ass. Uh, bruh. Number one, I just dropped my redhead with a juicy peach off at the nail salon. You're really confident in that masculinity, huh? And two, maybe some of us show some respect. Dudes out here are reckless, too. Coming up to a man like you want to fight because I didn't I f your woman might get me to do my impression of... D uh, okay, sure, whatever, dude. Been called a monster. Called a demon. Called a fake. I'm not an idol. Not an angle or a saint. I walk alone. I always have. I'm not ashamed. A living nightmare from the cradle to the grave. Well, that's great. What flavor is that vape? Is it Rudy Tootie fresh and f***ing shut up? Me, watching 19 to 20 year old grope his girlfriend in the mall? Stop that. Men do not grope women in public. Him? F*** off, dude. Me, now talking directly to the girl. My name is blank. Try to remember it if you ever need anyone to break his legs. <laughs> Man, the secondhand embarrassment I get from text is insane. I noticed that you downvoted my comments. Please either explain the downvotes or prepare to retract them. The choice is yours. There's two breeds of alpha males. The gorilla. I identify as this type. Calm, a leader, strong. B, the rhino. Perhaps not as strong overall, but if provoked, will defend themselves. Those are the ones I'm warning you about. So you guys are finally comfortable with identifying as something? <laughs> and you chose to identify as an alpha male? Unmasked, unmuzzled, unvaccinated, unafraid. <laughs> and unprotected from the fucking tarmac. Hope you don't drive like you're actually wearing a helmet. Nobody, not even Gordo, can dislike tiramisu made by an Italian mother. I had this tiramisu yesterday that was made by the restaurateur's mother, and I told him right to his face that it was terrible, and he was a massive and ripped guy. But he knew who I was and knew my dangerous connections, so he knew that he had to take what I dished out. Okay. I grew up in the 80s and 90s. I am Generation X. You know who you are. You see how soft the generation, sorry, the next generation is. If Russia ever attacks America on American soil, we are the generation that will kick Russia's ass. Dude, let me stop you right there. No, you're not. You're the generation that has to take Tylenol in order to wake up in the f***ing morning now. Chill the hell out, okay? Th this isn't Red Dawn, my guy. You're not some Hollywood hero. I don't care when you got up. Kiss my ass. Or eat it, because it sounds like you're the type. I came into this world kicking and screaming while covered in someone else's blood. I have no problem with going out the same way. You're gonna climb back into your mom? Dude! I'd of have the kid the 200 and kept the old man's card sounded like me for a minute. I was making deals, ripping dealers mantles off their walls and out their showcases. I had no remorse. Sorry, this is one hell of a run on sentence. It's really hard to read it as anything, but I had no remorse in learning their ways extremely vast to break them. And I did more so in comics. I knew the times down to a science for both. And what I mean that is you had different time. No, dude, I'm sorry. No, I can't. I can't read this. I can't. I, I could barely read English, let alone whatever the hell this is. Someone called the cops. Be back later. If you aren't successful with the law, give me the word and I'll send my men after him. Okay. About me. Name. Virgo. Age. Unknown. Personality. Cold. I'm the definition of f around find out, and I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Sure, buddy. No one plays Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. I'm amosexual. It wasn't a choice. I was born this way. I love guns. Just look at this guy. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for I am the baddest one in the valley. Yeah, your airsoft games get pretty crazy, bro. 
I had a guy try mugging me this morning with a tiny pocket knife, so I just reached behind my trench coat and unsheathed my sword, and he immediately pocketed his knife and said he made a mistake targeting me. LMAO! These people. You carry a fucking sword? One, two, fuck you. You got one of those on you at all times? Because if you got into an altercation with someone wearing this shirt and you didn't have your brass knuckles, you kind of look pretty fucking stupid. Our girlfriend. Wanna say that again, bud? Because I'm gonna beat you up if you take her. Too late. Welcome to communism, Conrad. We'll take good care of our female comrade in high spirit. In all seriousness, that's my girl. Either back off or- Oh, shut up, dude. Come on! I said it in my wedding vows. If the day ever comes that you don't love me, tell me and leave me. That I can handle. It will break me, but I'll recover. But if you cheat on me, I'll make you watch them die. And my wife's reply was, And if you ever cheat on me, I'll cut your balls off. And we shook on it. You know what? That's fair. Actually, don't do that to each other, though, because it's still- it's still illegal, so you can't- you can't do that. I once made my teacher cry by staring at her with emotionless eyes while she was yelling at me. She started crying and begged me to show emotions. Sure she did! Had a cop try that once. He ended up, uh, on his face with a Nike in the back of a head and got suspended from duty for falsely identifying me as a suspect. It was fun. I mean, that's a lie, though. You're lying. You're a liar, sir. Your pants are clearly engulfed and on fire. You crush her heart, I crush her skull. We are not the same. You got some cake, though. Military 19-year-olds. Got it a week after we started dating. Bro, if you're trying to strike at military personnel as a joke because you feel bad about the fact you can't get a girl for the life of you, I'll get myself an Uber, come to your house, and smack your face. You are one of the least manly, most cry babyish men I've ever met in my entire life, hands down. If I ever see you talk one more thing about civilian versus military on your page, I'll personally pull out your tampon and run the menstruated blood on your prematurely occurring bald head. Do you copy? Non-serving ass bitch. Let me guess, you're a 19-year-old in boot camp. Buddy, I own firearms that aren't legal in most parts of the world without special permissions. And in the core, I shot and maintained small arms up to and including the M2. If you don't know how to debate or argue, just back down. You're outclassed here. Doesn't seem like you know how to debate either. You jump straight to, I will fucking shoot you. No, really, I know what a gun is. Getting tired of being violent. Soft people wouldn't understand in this town. You know who you are. I'm sure they do. I'm a killer, not a fighter. You don't fight in a war, son. Also, I'm retired at 29 and a body build. You need to take a hard look at yourself in the mirror and evaluate. I've already done the evaluation. It's called the reevaluate, dumbass. Being an alpha male in today's effeminate society is no easy task. It takes grit. I'm in the midst of a grueling cross-country road trip to save this country, but I want- Oh, this guy! Right! I still can't tell if he's doing a bit with the alpha male thing or not. Also, I gotta love all these guys who clearly love women who complain about effeminate anything. I'm just- I'm super confused by that. I don't know. I don't understand. Good for you. I know. All right. Yeah, no one cares. Yeah, one cares? Bye. Shut the fuck up. When you get on my skill level, we can talk. Good night. See you Monday. <laughs> Hope you stub your toe. Damn! Wow, this is a hell of a crop job. I am ready to defend Taiwan, and believe me, I will not die. Rather, I'll kill death if that- No, you'll die probably pretty quick, I'd imagine. Acting badass after losing a game. I know you soft. I know if I saw you in real life, you'd be scared, and I know you scared to 1v1 me, so I'm not even wasting my time with you. Good night. I love this fifth grader smack talk. I just think you're a fluffy teddy. <laughs> Real men hide their feelings. Why? Because it's none of your fucking business. Men do not cry. Men do not pout. Men check you in the fucking jaw and say thanks for coming out. That's a lot of rust. I got a man. I give a f Why? Most my hoes got boyfriends. Aren't you like nine? Nine inches deep in your- Oh, come on. I've seen that a lot, okay? Yes, that is awesome. Glad to see people fighting back. Fighting back is not worth it. It could have gotten him killed. This is why most companies tell their employees not to do anything when being robbed. Some also get fired when they do intervene. Don't worry. If we're ever together in a situation where the need arises, I will fight back. For you, for me, for anyone. You can cower in the corner if you want. It wouldn't be the first time for me to cower in the corner. Every morning I wake up begging for war. I struggle every day to keep the wolf locked up inside of me, but one day, you'll push the wrong buttons and the wolf will emerge from his den. Think twice before talking sh to assault- Shut the f 
fuck up, dude. Uh, well, I grab roaches by hand, so... That's nothing, buddy. Allow me to reach into the toilet and show you something I made earlier. Now that's true, badass. I fought a guy who looked like the Hulk once, and then another guy who looked like the, the Punisher, both trained killers, and I'm the winner. I bet on me, too. Because, yep, apparently we're placing bets. I decided that now. People say I am not scary. I got kicked off Instagram. <laughs> Oh, look out, guys. This person, he got a big no-no from social media. I got kicked off Instagram for the simple comment that I would cut you if someone made the mistake of not taking me seriously. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I'm short. My six-foot-five husband acts like a domestic abuse victim if I get super picked up at him. <laughs> Problematic and awkward. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not reach the day and age where women feel comfortable enough to gloat about being an abusive partner. I mean, it's like, yeah, my plants keep dying. But I always buy more because I'm a good gardener. I'm the infidel Allah warns you about. <laughs> no ifs or buts about it because I have no but. Look, it's just it's just jeans. It's, it's okay, okay to buy shame, shame if they're racist. racist. A hunger strike would do these folks some good. Incel alert. <laughs> Wild. I'm laying in bed with a single mother passed out on my chest right now. Got laid an hour ago, and this is hilarious, but go off. Also, in the morning, I'm eating all her kids' fruit snacks. Damn, Cyrus. Ain't you a badass? At that point, breaking his legs and leaving him in the woods is probably the best option for everyone involved. I don't understand why this isn't what people do. If the law says someone can't be removed from my property, then God damn it, someone's getting hurt. Frick em. No slash I am very badass. And it's y'all kitty cats. Lol, never would I let someone disrespect myself or my property without some type of retaliation. Frick taking the high road. They had their chance to leave and the law failed to remove them. It's my turn then. I don't think this person realizes, but the more you say you're gonna do this thing, the less likely people believe you're actually gonna do it. I'd flex, but I like this shirt. Buddy, there are creases all over this shirt that would prove that is completely impossible from you. But hey, I guess it, I can respect the idea that you buy a shirt early so you can kind of grow into it. Unfortunately, that's completely dismissed by the fact you think wearing sunglasses in an indoor gym makes you cool. There is only one legitimate reason you'd be wearing sunglasses, sir, and that is so women don't catch you peeking at them through your perverted gaze. It's not a prideful thing to have. You did it. You bought the evil out of me. An American soldier, a warrior. You will feel my wrath, and you will regret disrespecting an American soldier. The Ryan has awoken. At least that's how I imagine he'd sound. Please, mace me without provocation. You will eat through a straw for months and never chew right again in life. And that's on God, Allah, who will take your pick. And gender equality for all, I won't discriminate. To those of you who have the stupidity to think that you could get maced and still be completely capable of taking someone on, please invite yourself to a macing class at, I don't know, the police station or something and get a free serving of humble pie. Men were born to fight. Every single man fights. So if you're dating, you can't fight. This doesn't apply to you. He wants to fight. He trains to fight. And he stays awake at night praying for the day he gets to enter the cage and try his very best to hurt somebody. The males who don't feel this warrior urge simply are not men. Hello class, welcome to Underdeveloped Man Childs 101. Let's begin by translating this strange glyph a man child has posted online. <clears throat> I was raised in a domestically violent environment. I was either abused or encouraged to be abusive to get my way. I've developed no other coping mechanisms to deal with my struggles, my pain and experiences in life that cause grief upon me. As such, I resort to inflicting this pain upon others as a way of projecting my communication of I am hurt, I want you to feel how I feel. I could have developed some sense of emotional maturity, as physical activities in general can still be lethargic and comforting, but I have not. And in order to combat that moral dilemma I have constantly in my own mind, I assure myself that they are just not men, because if they were equally men, then that would mean that my whole abusive lifestyle has actually been wrong, and I'm actually wrong to think of these things, and that can't be right because that's how I, that's my comfort. I'm secure with that. I'm comfortable with that. I know that's how the world is, and if that's wrong, then <laughs> no. I hit on a girl with a boyfriend today because I phoned Hive at Schmidt. Okay. Boyfriend. Oh, uh, hey, why are you hitting with my girlfriend? Me. Hey, you know what else I'm a hit on? Boyfriend. Uh, what? Me. Your mom. Interesting he doesn't give a Schmidt about that, yet seems to want to conceal his face online. Hmm. Wow. What are you afraid of, buddy? Come on. Spam with something. 
How big of a nerd are you? One to ten. Do, 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 do I look like a nerd? Nerds don't party or drink, dip, vapor, drift, fish, mud, or lose their virginity. Dude, it is 2022. I get you recently fell in love with Stranger Things. Well done. Great job for catching up. But oh lordy, if you think you fish and what mud makes you a better person, oh lordy. What is mud? Someone explain that to me. Oh, hey, hey, what do you like to do in your spare time? I'm mud. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab mud and I'll smother myself in it. Nobody needs an AR-15. Nobody needs a whiny little bitch either. Yet here you are. I like to imagine people have these sort of things on the back of their shirt because they're actually too scared to say it to you face to face. I always get the sense when I'm on the highway, like why everyone trying to frick with me or get so aggressive. I forget that I drive a flashy car that intimidates people on the road and make people act stupid sometimes. I just am used to my car and ordinarily drive it normally like any other car. Well, unless really got a good reason not to. Then I remember I ain't got a deal with you. Well, that proves it. Getting a flashy car makes you like someone who eats organic food. You're literally not better than anyone else. You just think you are. I'm not scared of Vader. I'll hit him with a 50 cal and that'll be the end of it. None of these slow ash blaster guns where the beam travels slower than a paintball. See him move fast enough to dodge 2,700 frames per second. His body would have to break the speed of sound to move out of the way. Okay, let's be serious here for a second, everyone. That this is a legitimate strategy. Any uh, Star Wars fans here who know, like, lore and stuff and the science of it all? I, I want to know if this is possible. Can't hardly be concerned. I lean on Jesus. They could do their best to welcome Satan and will perish for their ambition. This is satire, right? No, it's not. But since you want to be a... <laughs> But since you want to be a willy wrinkle, I'll let you know how easy it'd be for me to hurt you badly. Mm, go frick off. Oh, you really proved it there, didn't you? Lol, man, you definitely need Jesus. Okay, bud, see you on the other side. Oh, I'd love to see some of you angry ass dudes in person. I'd make you whimper like a little child. Keep talking the big talk, though. It'll come back to bite you. Why were they Mickey just now? Who cares? Don't, don't think too much into it. Don't try to comprehend what my brain does. I did the same thing to a neighbor that poisoned a stray cat I was feeding. Just glued a black painted BB in his rear passenger fuel stem. He spent six months fighting that tire. He finally replaced just that one. So I did his other rear tire. Okay, no joke. That is seriously evil, but in the best way? Well, expect to hear from the authorities soon. Thanks for exposing how much of a schmitty human being you are. Come to my property with that energy and see if your head don't become real life taco meat. Oh no, someone is sending the internet police. What's next? You gonna threaten to line me for libel? Go frick yourself. Someone has to. Not shoot! Proceeds to hit him in the balls in self-defense when it was really me not liking to have someone in my face. And someone said something, but we can't see it, so cool. No, pretty much any reaction I have when someone comes to my face. I don't know why, but having stuff in my face is just uncomfortable. And apparently, it's my only reaction to having someone in my face like that. And I realize now that one day I'll go to prison for it. Eh, frick it. Okay, again, this is one of those things where it's like, well... I mean, you're kind of valid if someone's really uncomfortably getting up in your space. Okay, maybe not exactly smacking them in the balls, but you get what I mean. I don't think it's that shameful to want personal space. Actual fighters don't talk like this. Any fight that ends without anyone seriously injured is the best kind of fight. Belittling people for realizing they are in over their head isn't manly. It's childish. Oh, this is such bullshit, and I'm seeing it constantly regurgitated on Reddit to make you putangs feel better. A real fighter is going to fight his hard out till the end, not when they get a little uncomfortable. Class, welcome back to Underdeveloped Manchild 101. The world. Who's your favorite character? That one. B but they're the villain. Yep. Are you going to argue that they're misunderstood? No, they're actually quite evil. And psychopathic. And murderous. Hmm, they remind me of myself. My rights don't end where your feelings begin. They end right here. Because I feel afraid of all that meat. Ooh, gotta hide behind this little podium to feel safe. Cool. You may speak to people like this on the internet, but I guarantee you've never ran into a person like me in real life. I don't let rude people go. I react immediately. That usually shuts people like you up because you didn't expect the person you were bullying to stand up for themselves. I can only hope you meet someone like me someday so you can awkwardly try to stutter an excuse as 
I walk up to you and the coward you are becomes a parent because I'm actually your son. Shocker, you are now a parent. Anyway, I can react more quickly on the brake and throttle than one foot drivers. I'm also not dumb enough to get the pedals confused. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> also, everyone used to drive two feet than most cars had clutches, so it's not a new concept and it's not hard to learn. From this point on, I plan to treat people exactly how they treat me. Some will be glad, others should be scared. Ooh. Meanwhile, on Buy, Sell, Swap, North Queensland. Buy one, get one free. Ooh, look. <laughs> Are they hands or stumps at the end of a forearm? Seriously, I, I don't get into fights. I don't have much experience in boxing and stuff, but they they do not look like intimidating fists. I mean, never before have I noticed how eerily similar some people's closed fists are to the looks of buttholes. Also, how can I buy these if they're allegedly free? I mean, so I clearly can't get the deal then because I'm not buying them. Wait, of course this is Townsville. A little bit of travel advice. If you're ever going to visit Australia, don't come to Townsville. I don't know what else is similar in other people's countries, but honestly, I think the town needs its own travel warning. Your first mistake was thinking, <laughs> sheep. Well, joke's on you, I wasn't thinking about sheep at all, so yeah, zing. Uh, oh, look out, guys, this man has sunglasses and a cap, so he's, he's very tough. Come, child, shall we take a stroll through your comments to me in multiple subreddits with posts over six months old? Well, here I am, child. You rattled the cave walls, and now the juggernaut stands before you, and all I see is a child peeing itself. So you're saying you're in a cave right now alone with a child? Just you and that child? That's pretty sus, man. What's that about? Is this all you have, child? Simple words? Bad man says mean words? Shall we turn on the nightlight for you and read you a bedtime story? I mean, so far it sounds like you're the one who wants that, but okay. You are merely stroking my arrogant ego. You said it, not me. And providing a mere amusement to me. But you are beginning to bore me. Is this all you are? Just the reply, child? Shall we dance around for all eternity of you always responding to anything I say with simpleton words of a child? Seriously, what is this person's addiction to children? Say something impressive, child. You have the entire world's wealth of knowledge at your fingertips. Impress me. I'll go back to hiding under your covers. Sir, you've done it. You've managed to say so much, yet nothing at all. This whole system is rigged. The people have been deceived. If we don't come to arms and fight right now, the United States of America is done. The elites have won. It is a sad day for our republic. Tell us when and where. I could bring at least 30 of our men at any moment. They could each bring many more. We don't lack the will. We lack the leadership. And the ability to fight the United States military. But you won't come up to me and talk shit because I put my sharp blade right through your f***ing eyes. Okay, but what did I do to you though? Also, don't step up on me, Frodo Baggins. I can tell you a shorty. Kicked out. Still too scared to fight. LOL. Damn right. Jeez, rough time in my life. I remember picking fights with bouncers in Wilmington just to see how many it would take to beat me. God, I was stupid and had the grammatical skills of an ass. The answer is four. It would take four to beat me. Why are you an anime character, but the worst written anime character? Andrew, what can I say that the courts already haven't? If you've gotten this far, then you've looked beyond the photo. So welcome and come on in. Yeah, that photo's real spooky, my dude. What's so cool about communism anyways? Put me v 50 commies and blood won't be the only red thing on the floor. What the f*** does that mean? What else is gonna be on the floor that's red? That's right, I ate a bunch of red Crayola markers before the fight and I'm gonna sh** myself. This is like my third controller that I've broken in less than a year due to my anger issues. And you know what? I'm perfectly fine with smashing the bottom of my controller against my chair so hard the batteries don't don't even stay in anymore. I'm also fine with the fact that the controller won't turn on anymore. I'm a-okay. What's wrong? Nothing. Just love breaking controllers so much. It's so fun. Whatever, Kyle. You don't know what lurks in the dark. Go and search. He makes a pretty decent NPC. Are you sending me on a quest? What's the reward here? Jesus Christ, dude. Cool. But still, wow. I have a dark side too. Don't mess with me or you're next. No one cares. Do you know how many people died while hanging out with me? So don't act cool or I'll find your home address. Does it look like I give up a 
<laughs> oh, this is the type of cringe that only gives me more power. Give me more. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting a little caught up in this. I once hit a wall like eight times bare knuckled, breaking my hand in six different parts. Didn't feel a thing until I went to the hospital and they moved the bones back into place. Bet that wall didn't mess with you again. And this, kids, is why you learn to control your emotions and how not to punch walls that'll break your hands. Well, you're real dumb for doing that. <laughs> Apparently, most people have had dreams where they're falling. I've never had this dream in my life, but it sounds really fun. Like a free, no-risk skydiving trip. Why do people describe it as a nightmare? Sounds like a blast. Then again, I rarely have dreams at all. My sleep is mostly dreamless. A black abyss explains a lot, I guess. Dreaming in general is undignified and unmanly. Real men never stoop to indulging in such fantasies. Fellas, is it gay to think while you're asleep? Fascism. Right. Okay. Okay then, good luck out there in the real world, whenever you actually go there. I bet it's not often. I'm nearly two meters tall and weigh 73 kilos. I kicked the shit out of two bouncers. There were easily 1.9 meters and over 100 kilos in the street. There are no reels, dirty, fast fighting, everything is allowed, hits to the groin, to the throat. I don't care even if they could, they who wants to fight on the street must be ready to die. That was an utter roller coaster. Very hard to read. I want to stress that. Very difficult. The guy everyone tried to mess with to try and prove how much of a badass they were. All of them failed. And the guy who pissed off all the senior football players in 2010. LOL. Yeah, I'm homophobic. The heck you gonna do about it? I'm gonna kiss you. I'm gonna give you a kiss right on your pretty face. But I'll only kiss you with your consent. And I've got a sneaky suspicion that you're actually a little bit more into it than you're leading me to believe. Screw with the one I love, my family, my friends, and I am going to you. Okay, um, let's slow down. Maybe pizza first? Hello there, red, white, and beautiful. Are you tired of weak beta males that drink soy lattes? Soy is for pussies, and I'm here to grab yours. I like my women like I like my coffee, hot and ready in the morning. Every time I get an erection, a bald eagle cries out in American pride and the flag flies a little harder. I don't negotiate with terrorists or toddlers. I'm a free American, and I want to know if you're free tonight. If, if that doesn't get him at least one date, I'll be pissed. Dropped out at 17, started learning to fabricate natural stone. Commercial fisherman and tugboat captain now. Got in a motorcycle wreck in 05, took out my spleen and stent in my renal artery for a year after pissing blood and still working. Got an infection in March of this year. Amputated all my toes and most of my fingers. Started back at work this past August. No pain meds at all. Just willpower and not being a vagina always helps when you want to work. Trades are where it's at. I don't know why I keep slipping into some kind of crappy pseudo southern accent with these, but they all fit the bill. About me. I'm a jack ass. Get used to it, because if you start sh first or trigger my anger issues or any of my disorders, either I come for you or I get worse people to come for you. Yeah, that's right, come for me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I believe they're called razors. I care about my knife so much, everyone is scared of me, even when I don't have it. So think I'm gonna be a murderer someday. Do I need therapy again? <laughs> Lol, random. It's good to see that some of that has survived the MySpace age. Well, I can't very well legally go out in public and kill liberal twats at will like I can on a video game, can I, Jack? There's nothing quite as satisfying than hearing a whiny little liberal cuck crying because I shot him in the face over and over again. But I'll gladly give it all up for legalized murder of liberals and their squads of pansy-ass followers. <coughs> well... Oh, good lord, there is really no good place to start with this one, alright? We're just gonna say, parlor, and move on, you know? It's kinda cheating on this sub. I own a 9mm. It's loaded with hollow point bullets. I know MMA. When I'm out with it, damn near nothing scares me. That's real. Are you real? Best way to take away all these people's ammo is just to get a little bit, uh, you know, gay with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? That really freaks them out. Oh, what, you gonna shoot me? I'ma kiss you. Starbucks refused to serve me with my face covering. Apparently mesh masks are against their policy. I asked to see their written guidelines and they couldn't provide them for me. I walked out and ripped their sign off the door on my way. You know, that's not the first time I've seen a Karen demand written rules. Like, bitch, we don't need to give you anything. This is a business. Today, a 100 pound, five foot four teenager called me an asshole for not wearing the muzzle. I'm 6'3 and weigh 260 pounds. Yeah, that's right. I'm going back into a bad Southern accent. I know it's terrible. I apologize. I've never worn the muzzle. 
Not even once. And this was my first time ever getting harassed. No one had ever said anything to me before. So this little 16 year old looking boy whose entire body girth was smaller than my arm comes to me inside the store and said, you're being a real asshole not wearing a mask. I chuckled and said, why are you being so rude and hostile? He says, because you're gonna kill a lot of people. I smiled and said, that's very sad. But remember, not everyone's gonna be as patient and as cool as I am. And you get the wrong guy, you might get hurt. He walked off real fast. I'm still smiling about the whole encounter as I think about it, but one thing's for sure. That kid was brave for talking to me like that. It's sad that it was the wrong kind of bravery. He's still scared of the common cold. Right, that's what it is. He was going real hard trying to sell the fact that this was a teenager. It's probably just his mommy yelling at him. For all who know me, would you feel comfortable approaching me as a complete stranger and blaming me for your daughter being sick? I like to think I'm a nice guy, but I can also be your worst nightmare. Hashtag food for thought. Yeah, that food don't have much nutritional value. If you could be born any time in history, when would it be? Explain. For me, 1900. Fight in World War I. Roaring 20s. Great Depression. Fight in World War II. Then experience the 50s and the 60s. In my 50s and 60s. Enjoy my twilight years with the modern conveniences of the 70s and die in the 80s before all this internet bull begins. Close second place would be 49 BCE. Campaign with Caesar and the Gallic Wars. This isn't Casey Nice, Dad. Nah, my brother isn't like that. He would backhand a girl. I would punch a girl. Bruh, you might be 17, but I can flip your ass. I can ruin your life instantly, man. You don't believe me? I dare you to try me. I hear the certification to become a keyboard warrior is getting easier and easier. Is, is this supposed to be emotional? If so, then I'm afraid my tears and emotions have been dried out because I've watched so many sad animes. Yeah, but I'll drop her as I have no care for life. Calm down there, Satan. I'll make Satan look like a child when I'm done. Oh, there's the badass. You found him. No one. 45-year-old out-of-shape dudes. In a world of sheep, I am the wolf. I am the wolf. Around and find out. You know, man, you look just like the one pictured. Everyone talks big behind a screen. Yeah, he just he just doesn't get it, does he? I am an asshole. I love freedom, drink beer, I love my nurse wife, I protect my family, I eat meat, and I own guns. If you don't like it, move. I mean, I'm fine with moving. You wanna help me with moving costs? I'll go really anywhere, man. Oh no. It's Jake Paul. You know what? Since you dumb enough to run for president, you dumb enough to get knocked out. Where the hell you at? About to knock your little wig the f off, Donald Trump. Little bitch. Let's do the PPV. Where the f you at? Yo, Joe Biden, put the f gloves on. Why you being a bitch? When I'm trolling, I really gotta hit save draft. What? what I think we're all waiting for Jake's trip to Japan. Doug Ford says nobody's being forced to take a vaccine, but encourages as many people as possible to take it. What? He thought I was going out without a fight? I'll smoke anyone forcing me to take a vaccine. Okay. Hey, the more y'all that refuse to take them, the faster the rest of us can get vaccinated, and that's fine with us, honestly. Just don't come crying to me if you end up choking on a ventilator tube. Don't move, there's a rattlesnake! LMAO, it's just the a snake. I skinny dipped in the lake swarming with copperheads a couple times. Have you ever noticed that the people that talk like this are the same dudes that stay in your hometown their entire lives but their entire life ends at like the age of 42? First thing I'm going to do is stab the person administering the shot right in the neck with a freaking ballpoint pen and subsequently stab anyone else in the neck who attempts to forcibly inject me with anything. Do you think? Do you think a nurse is just gonna run up behind you? She's hiding in a bush? She's got the back scene ready and they're just gonna administer it like that on people you know like jump on their backs you you're kidding right these people absolutely need to be heroes somehow and they picked the worst thing the worst possible thing to think they're heroes about it's a very embarrassing hill to die on we call that hill big dumb stupid idiot moron poo poo head hill I have anger issues and I'm serious. Stay away. All right, no need to tell me twice, you freak. Kicked out of store number one. Lol. What? Wouldn't wear a mask, lol, so we had to leave. They don't kick me out of stores. I bow up, ready to fight for my freedoms. The sheep back down real quick, he says as he's crying being escorted from the store by an overweight manager. How much you want to bet this that same dude that went viral recently for just laying on the ground at Costco? <laughs> I'm gonna sit right here until I get what I want! I'm having 11 people over for Thanksgiving. Come arrest me yourself, p***y. Okay. Him. Don't drink until 21. Me, 13-year-old drinking a can of Monster and vodka. Ugh. How in the world did you make something scarier than Four loco? Be a freaking wolf. Be a freaking lion. Take no s***. 
Set goals. Smash them. Eat people's faces off. Be a better person. Okay, right. Show people who the hell you are. Never apologize for being awesome. Stay the mother freaking course. One of these things is not like the other. Give me one week and I'll bring that bridge down. Okay, why though? What, did someone challenge you to do it? Are you just bored? This is so wholesome. You know what isn't wholesome? Pain. And you're gonna be in a lot of it soon, pal. Name checks out, I guess? LMAO, this is after lack kind of fun. <laughs> I can't stop laughing either. Okay, well, on that note, we've come to the end of another video, ladies and gents. Mike was locked up outside on blankety blank blank street and stolen around 5.40 p.m. by a man in a red hat and a black top. Medium build, pretty sure he was white. If you are the thief in question, there are three places in this world I'm not afraid to visit at any time. The emergency room, prison, or a cemetery. A cemetery? Return my bike in the condition you found it and I can promise you that it will be a safe exchange. If I find you first, I can't promise the same thing. Oh, someone just watched Taken. It's fine. We've all been there. Seemed pretty easy to understand to me. I'm likely getting manic and I've been angry for the last eight hours. Their staff and guards were pushing me to the limit. Confrontation doesn't scare me, so my mind basically goes black and my anger reacts. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I've been shot and other stuff, so weapons don't bother me either. So someone without one definitely won't make a difference. Difference. Okay then, that's that's great. I watch gore to desensitize myself to reality sometimes and to focus on something other than my constant existential dread, but I still can't watch that cringe video. It hurts too much. All right, that's stupid, but I do want to know what video this person is talking about. My beautiful queen, time to wake up. It's your big day, it's your birthday. My very own beautiful 22, 38, oh, oh sorry, 380, 9 millimeter. Chip, okay, all faster than dial of 911. Well, that's not how the law works. I thought you backed them boys in blue. You know you're supposed to do what you're told by them, right? Also, isn't the 380 and the 9mm the same damn caliber? <laughs> oh, never mind. I don't know guns. Even if a dog, a massive pit, I would let it bite me because what's going to happen? It's going to chomp on your ankles or wrist. Cool. It's a fucking dog. A wolf is a different situation. We have bred dogs to be weaker than what they used to be. Sure, people get seriously hurt by dogs, but you're a cop with combat training. I think you could take a dog. Someone's never been attacked by a dog before. Yes, I'm a grown ass man. Anyone puts hands on me like that, he's getting choked out and possibly beaten down. On site, no questions. Football coaches take that game way too serious. Out here, it's life and death while they're playing with balls, making way too much money. Okay, dork. <laughs> this album contains language which some listeners may find objectionable. They can f*** off and buy something from the New Age section. <laughs> oh man, Guns N' Roses, really? What happened? I've never swung first and have- I'm sorry, by the way, guys. Can we stop for a sec- just stop for a second. I'm sorry about all of the sh southern accents I've been throwing out. They just come out a lot on this side. Sub. Gee, I wonder why. All right, we can we can roll again. Ro All right, cool. I've never swung first and have won every fight I've been in. Then you've probably only been in one fight if you think you'll never lose. Everyone loses some. Actually, I've been in dozens. Certain guys you don't want to mess with. That's me. Okay, sweaty. Well, day four in the gym almost ended in problems. LOL. Some piece of uh -huh. shit got smart with me. Said he could uh -huh. me up. I told him to bring it four times before walked closer to him. He decided he didn't want the challenge. Also, are you guys proud of me? Look at my stupid run on the bike. Dude, it is more than acceptable enough for you to post, hey, I'm doing really well, the gym is awesome, with a couple of photos on your Facebook. You don't have to make up stories every single time. I may seem quiet and reserved, but if you mess with me while I'm bowling, I will break out a level of crazy that will make your nightmares seem like a happy place. Man likes bowling, you gotta respect that. <laughs> Generally not a good idea to chase after possibly violent criminals if you don't have a means of protecting yourself. Break but possibly dangerous and more endangering to others. I would have right hooked that person. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Normal people, dark humor, me. Well, what are you reading though? Are you just looking at some poor guy having a weird time? 18, I'm a b uh, and I don't take uh, from nobody. Anyone mess with my friends and family or anyone I kick their ass. All right, I'm following, you convinced me. 
Before you break into my house, stand outside and get right with Jesus. Tell him you're on your way. <laughs> okay, I'll do that, sure. I bet everybody that comes over for a barbecue has to sit there and pray at your front door for a couple minutes just in case you decide you want to kill him, huh? Bro, you think you can hurt me? Bro, my BFF is already a stranger to me. That sounds like a you problem, though. <laughs> a criminal that does this to my house would be dead before he has time to react in fear or turn away, therefore making the death of his wasted life justified. Wow, I know life is boring and all that, but maybe try violent video games. Those are good fun. You see, in GTA 5, you can do whatever the hell you want, so... No repercussions there, but in the real world, though, <laughs> oh, that's not the case, buddy. Uh, my anger. People f uh, me over. That was the first hit. LMAO. Oh, man, you got that $18 Lowe's door so good. You know, the ones made out of cardboard. You go, man. Not a bad guy, just not a particularly good one. I can be friendly, even kind, but try and control me, manipulate me. I will wish you your death. Also, I'm 20. <laughs> okay, cool. I've learned everything I need to know about you. New Heyday EP dropping on Friday. If your hands don't look like this on the daily, you're not welcome to listen to it. Okay. I don't know who they are, but I think I'm going to start exclusively listening to them just to spite this douche. Reposts by anyone other than admins is a ban. Don't do it again. Thanks. You're not even a real mod, tard tard sauce. You keep uh -huh. with me, you're gonna find out. Oh no, as I'm trembling. <laughs> Oh no, I'm trembling in my pantaloons. Shut the hell up, stupid. Classic retort, very well thought out and sourced. Hides behind a screen and hurls vulgarities like the little cuck you are. Ready to roll IRL too. My friend owns a jujitsu gym and lets me settle my scraps there after hours. Move on, puppy. I'll put supper out after I'm done with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your death is music to my ears. The shotgun is a bass, and the tearing of your flesh is mukbang to me. <laughs> Oh, man. He tried so hard to be badass right up until he said mukbang. Jesus, dude. Not as lean. Not as mean. But I am one mighty, mighty ticked off Marine. Enough of this socialists, communists, Marine murdering regime. Oh, someone got a poetry book going. These people are overreacting. You get shot in the spine by a needle pulsing 50,000 volts. I'd be able to do this all day. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's find this dude. I want him to prove it. That's it. I'm going to Portland to straighten this uh, out. Enough. Sometimes a man has just got to do the job himself. Greg, what are you talking about? This is not a movie. Come in peace or leave in pieces. Um, have a nice day. I'm going to Walmart. When you're the baddest b uh, a cop tries to pull you over and you say get back in your car and have a good night and drive away and they bow down and listen. That's what I thought. Get in your car, boy. I'm sorry, I'm a little speechless with this one. That is the dumbest uh, shit. You just pulled over to the side of the road or in a McDonald's parking lot, took a photo of the side of your door and decided, I want to feel cool today. I look at everyone else like prey. Oh boy. I've gone a long time without coming into contact with people, and the way I look at them will never be the same. I want to harm people, and I like the way people look when they're vulnerable. So, what you're saying is we should definitely put you into some kind of psychiatric care without your consent, because that is some creepy uh, shit if you're being serious. Practicing my prison photos because people be testing me lately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This one's just uh, funny. Come on, you knew damn well what he was doing here. There are two doors. One leads to your goal, the other to certain death. You may ask one question to one guard to help you decide which door is the correct one. One guard always lies, and one always tells the truth. How do you choose? Just pull out my 45 Magnum, hold it to the guard's head and say, okay, punk, you and me are gonna take a nice stroll out of one of these doors and you're gonna lead the way. Now walk. His actions will be more helpful than his words. He can't lie to me if I don't let him talk. 
You would be the worst person to have to DM for in D&D, dude. You would uh. suck. I get bullied, but the bullies will get karma when it's first day of school. In the past, I was a nerd, a geek, I loved anime, I loved books, and now, after all the suffering they gave me, look at what happened. I became a savage. I became stronger. And some say, when someone hurts me, I give them karma. The bullies will get karma when it's the first day of school. They will. Again, another person that needs to be looked at before they're allowed next to other people again. Something's going on there, and something bad could happen. Insert something Shakespeare involving death and your inevitable doom here. Silent but violent, the tyrant is free like smoke in the air. The tyrant will flee out of the sirens. The tyrant is loose, look into my eyes. The tyrant is me. <laughs> Woo, I'm not swiping right there. Underestimate me, that'll be fun. I hate anime, you weeb. Probably breaking the Geneva suggestion. <laughs> Just a random jackass, don't mess with me. Okay, fair enough, bye bye. I'm gonna go talk to cool people. I have three sides. The quiet side, the fun and crazy side, and the side you never want to see. Thanks, Aunt Susan. This Facebook post is epic and poggers. All right, not only did this guy bring his gun to what looks like a gas station truck stop, but his snake too? Okay. Dude, nothing ever makes me cry. My girlfriend of a year broke up with me. I shed one manly tear for her. I am not talking uh, about anyway. LOL shows how you know. If I wanted to talk uh, about you, I have ways that can not only ruin your life, but ruin the device you are on at the same time. So no, I am not talking uh, at all. <gasps> Just talking really same as anyone else on this app. What the f*** uh, are you saying? You don't make any sense. You people are insane. For those I love, I will do great and terrible things while dressed as a crusader. A crusader. I don't know, man. They had some pretty messy sh**. Uh, Headed to Costco. Let's see if they kick me out again for open carry. Last time told them to piss off. Man, Costco's not that scary, guys. You don't have to take your guns there, you know? I refuse to live in fear. That's why I keep myself strapped at all times. You know what they say. <laughs> Stay strapped or get clapped. Send me to Afghanistan and I'll have it solved in two weeks. Well, if they can get that big old truck over there, I'm sure they'll be able to have it solved in no time. I absolutely adore these starter packs because I've never seen one that's not accurate. They're all perfect and it's hilarious. The faces are blurry now, and there are some new ones added to the list. If the old faces ever cross my sights, I'd pull the trigger. For those that know me well, who do you think I see when I'm pulling the trigger? I really hope nobody knows you well. You seem a little f***. Oh, really red font? To everyone on here, this is her boyfriend. If you play with me and ask my girlfriend anything on the type time, a f weirdo would I w God damn, I will shoot your dumb ass. Play with my gangsta and find out. I'll leave this at this. How much you want to bet he's single, though? I got attacked by a 16-foot great white. I wish ACDC was playing when I punched that thing. I was pissed. Mama doesn't take no bull uh, from a fish. Don't people actually say if they do come up on you to try and punch him in the face? <laughs> All right, let's see. Beware of the alpha variant. Oh, shut the f*** uh, up and go drink your cappuccino, dude. Y'all, Kata and the Gravy Seals need to shut the f*** uh, up. Just because you got a beard don't make you Thor, friend. Guys, did I tell you I'm a Sigma male and Keanu Reeves has the best dick in the world? Most don't want war, but people like me and my brothers, we want war. We pray for it. Happy 4th. <laughs> oh, what a friggin' loser. Ooh, a wall of text on the Facebook post. That's always a good sign. Uh, all the women on here and the dudes, none of you can fight your all uh, I'll give my address and a comment if anybody wants to try me. Keep the fight standing. Oh my god, holy mother of run-on sentence. Once you get me on the ground or I get you on the ground, I can break all your limbs with ease. I'm a trained at a low level of boxing. I'm an elite level wrestler and I'm one fine BJJ artist, so I'm not scared of none of you uh, Okay, and I weigh 185 of muscle and I'm a very good athlete. Hell, some people will say I'll keep coming until you knock me out. Not the, oh my God, this is really hard to read. I don't play games. As soon as I get more money, I'm signing up for martial arts so I can go kick some ass again. And yes, I'm better than most of the folks there. A lot of people talk, uh, but oh my God, I can't. I, this is just too annoying to read. You good? No, he's clearly not good. He's lost his uh, mind, man. I love my gym. Don't come here though. 
you'll crowd me. My gym is my sanctuary. You meditate by a brook. I do it on the Smith machine. <laughs> This gym is great. Please stay away. It's my safe spot. To be perfectly honest, I wouldn't want to meet myself if I were totally pissed and size would not matter because I'm sneaky and don't play by the rules. Oh my god, this is going straight to the subreddit for that sweet, sweet karma. Spent Earth Day throwing an axe at a tree. Wow, you really showed the Earth. Oh man, you got mother good. <laughs> You don't get it. You're messing with the wrong guy. I hope you know. You and your UK self? Better understand that when you mess with someone you don't know, you're entering into a black hole, buddy. And I live in that black hole. <laughs> well, actually, you can't live in black holes. That's physically impossible, idiot. Know this about me. I'm not what you're used to. I'm a rare breed. You may think you want me, but can you handle the essence of what I really am? You may think you can handle me, but how deep into the abyss are you willing to go? You may think you want to be my opposer, but are you ready to die? Ask yourself, do you really know? Oh boy, he's got some hashtags. Hashtag rare breed. Hashtag alpha male. <laughs> Hashtag my father's son. Hashtag you have no idea. Hashtag wolf spirit. <laughs> okay. Hashtag you don't know me. I, I think we do now. No, I, I think you just told us who you were. A child. I bully people too. I'm with you. Show us a pic then, hero. Here, I'll go first. 40 years old, 5 foot 10, 180 pounds, father of two, bench my body weight for reps three days a week. The other days are for legs and abs. Well, thanks for letting us know you don't skip leg day. And my wife, who's still in her 20s by the way, okay, can scrub the whites on my obliques. But to be fair, I had killed men on three continents, likely before you knew how to read. But hey, healthy at any size, am I right? Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? I would have survived that baby knife cut. I guess I'm just built different. Yeah, you really are built different. You're built out of spare parts, bud. Why do you let people bully you? LMAO. I don't. I just don't want to unleash my demon on them. Okay. If this were to happen, if anybody, and I mean anybody, touches my stuff, they'll end up in the ER with a popped lung and liver cancer. How are you planning on giving somebody cancer? LOL, you can't cook. Okay? Do you know 10 ways to immobilize or destroy a tank with household items? No, I didn't think so. Oh yeah, 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 that's the exact same thing as not knowing how to cook macaroni, you f***ing idiot. I love the serious level of false equivalency here. Uh, 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 you, you can cook? Well, I can uh, stop a tank with Ajax. Live peacefully until I get to you. Oh my god, <laughs> what's happening here? This morning on my way to work, I caught a big macho alpha male yelling and screaming obscenities at women at the store. Without even thinking, I flipped into Marine Corps mode, got in his face, used my DI voice, and that piece of crap slunk away like a coward. Aha! Uh -huh. You really got those damsels in distress. You saved the ladies. Every single person who says that they'd defend themselves or slap someone are all bullshit. I tolerate a lot, but I can't tolerate that I'm like a feral cat. Touch me and you're on the floor unconscious. Oh, you got the emojis in there, though. Ooh, someone's arrogant. STFU. That's the cringiest thing I've ever read. <laughs> Thank you. I used to be a real criminal. I kicked down people's doors and robbed their houses. I stole from cars, garages, stores, dealerships. Ran from cops more times than I can count. I led a small gang of criminals to commit strings of felonies with me. I've stolen more in my life than most people will earn in 10 years. I've even put people in the hospital. Despite my size, I have insane one-hit KO power. <laughs> okay, anime boy. Now I sit at home and raise my daughter trying my best to live a peaceful, quiet life. You are not the star of the movie. Quit thinking you are. I work and clean and try my best not to be a crappy dad. No one ever thought I would have my own place and a vehicle and keep it or raise a child by myself. Did anybody ask? Damn on day detected. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's up with the spelling? Did You had to have done that on purpose, right? I used to pull my gun out on mofos when they messed up my crap. Had to stop when they got the cops involved one time. And they let me off with a warning because they knew the type of danger I was. Edit. Here y'all go again with the downvoting. Did that crap make you feel superior or something? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Because your story's bullsh**. LOL. I'm a 34-year-old man and a medically retired fireman with osteoarthritis in my back and neck 
and bad shoulders. And when I was a younger man, I did nothing but fist fight. I never lost, nor have I ever been knocked down. And I punched very hard and very accurate. Those fighting, I know the first video, <gasps> are an embarrassment to me everywhere my wife hits harder than that. Wow. Holy mother of run-on sentence. I tried. I don't give two fricks about my friends or my family. You're gonna get real sad when you realize they don't care about you either. Just know, if you're friends with me, I've ranked you based on your skills as to how useful you will be after the grid goes down. It doesn't change our friendship now, but just know I have lists. A team, B team, C team, and dead weight. I know where I belong. Don't screw with me. What? Why not? You gonna hit me with your Comic-Con sword? I've seen Paul, it's gonna snap in half, dude. Fun fact, if you get in my way, I'll kill you. There are a lot of people that are okay with just saying they're gonna murder other people. It's really, really weird how the internet changes you. Remember, if I keep being rude, you will lose my temper and I will beat you up and I will not regret even if they expel me from school. Wait, 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 wait. Let me try that one more time. Remember, if I keep being rude, you will lose my temper, and I will beat you up. I'm really confused by that. Heaven doesn't want me, and hell is afraid I would take over. I don't think Satan's looking to retire anytime soon, but... Whatever. Am I Batman? Am I Joker? I don't know yet. How I treat you depends on how you treat me first. That didn't make any sense at all. Oh god, murder on my mind, that sounds great. People hearing this song, that's creepy! Me, holding two knives in each hand and dancing like a creep who wanna kill everyone. You're holding two knives in each hand. You're just fisting two knives each hand. You got four knives, you're holding four knives like a freak. These guys balance strength and agility. Holy damn. Cute? Maybe next freaking level? Um, no. As a purple belt Taekwondo, yes, as a Taekwondo, it's honestly sad to see mainstream media glorify such amateur displays of athleticism. Bro, you're a purple belt. <laughs> A lot of people are born males, but not born men. I'm a man. Nobody screws with me. Nobody screws with my money, and nobody screws with my family. Here's a picture of my carpet. I make fun of everyone and everything. I make fun of religions, races, height, weight, and a bunch of other stuff. If you can't handle that, don't get pissy. Either unfriend me or grow some balls. Hey, also, I'm watching SpongeBob. You're a big boy. I kill people I like. Some of them beg for their life. I don't feel sad. I don't feel anything. Maybe we should put people like this in prison or something like that. I, we'll figure something out. Funny, I went in with my own pen and tried to vote and they ripped it out of my hand and tried to give me a sharpie. So I took it and snapped it in half, got in the dude's face and told him to give me my pen back before he ended up on the ground. I got my pen back. I had to go home though, I couldn't vote that day. I love the look on people's faces when they talk to me like I'm some lunatic. And then I tell them how much education I have and I randomly tell them about a job experience because I've done everything. Or randomly throw in one of my 100 hobbies and skills. Or just start freestyle rapping. <laughs> no fucking way he included that at the end of all that. That is incredible. This is the only person in the world I'm calling alpha male. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm in the hospital. I got my rifle out for pictures with my daughter's prom date last night, but he was also carrying and didn't realize it was a joke. <laughs> what did I just say? Long story short, he <laughs> <laughs> they had a beautiful evening, and I should make a full recovery in 6 to 13 months. Know what's real intimidating? Being tied up in a freaking basement for freaking with my fam- Oh, shut up. That is the funniest post I have ever seen. Nah, I don't want to slap Winnie. I do want to drag his ass out of the hundred acre wood and stab him 47 times in the chest with a dull spoon, though. If you wanted to cause pain, it would be better to slowly peel the skin off. Okay, are you 12? <laughs> Anyone who attempts to human traffic and does it in my sight, I will personally human traffic you to the river and dump you off the bridge. Hope everyone else does the same. It's such an invisible crime, so we all need to keep our eyes out and protect our women. Whatever, at least your heart's in the right place. <laughs> I met some girl on Discord on the 13th of this month. Me and her were talking about anime and the types of shows we watched. I was interested to know if she did what I did. I sometimes think about killing people. Yeah, okay. She does too. Even went on to tell me how she wouldn't feel bad for killing anyone, not even her parents. Then she told me how she wanted to kill someone before she dies. Me too, I think. After that, she was like, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna tell the cops. That kind of left me shook, even though she was right. 
She went on to ask if I'd tell on her if she killed someone. I said, why would I give a fuck about who you kill? <sighs> She said she liked me, probably as in someone she knows, ain't a snitch, after that, and told me to stick around. I'm still in contact with her. Well, if either of you are serious, or if this woman is even real, uh, you need serious, serious, serious therapy. Years worth, I'd say. I'm still a kid, 12, and I understand the villain more than the hero. Maybe because I am one. Okay, maybe you are, buddy. You're the type of kid that would have turned sideways as I walked down the hallway as I kept my shoulders square. Oh, poor thing. Sorry to bring up that memory. Oh wait, now you're doing the same to your boss. Who's me? Wait, you're my boss? Being threatened and made fun of my entire life for being white? Okay, buddy. I've become extremely tough, and all of you seem so very soft in your smug prejudice. Ironic that you want to learn to fight from me now. Went running errands yesterday, four times sized up by gym rat Mexicans who believe I don't belong in my own hometown. Keep poking the tiger through the cage. You have no idea what I can do. Oh, you poor white man. Oh no. How hard is it for you to be a white guy? Tell me more about that, please. Hey, the guy's gotta justify being a f racist somehow, I guess. My wife doesn't have to worry about our finances. Just as if we lived 500 years ago and she wouldn't have to worry about eating or staying warm. I am the hunter, gritty with a steady hand. I will always make the kill. Dude, you just went to Safeway and bought some steak. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll only give him this if he went to the store and actually didn't forget a single thing his wife asked for. Cause that is a big win, so I'll give him that if that's the case. My daughter likes a boy in school, so I'm picking her up and taking them to lunch. Oh god, this is the grossest thing ever. Hey dads, stop fucking doing this. It was never funny, it was never cute, it's gross. Threatening a child with a gun is fucking disgusting and you're a moron better think twice be stealing my bike just saying okay what exactly are you saying though we're confused listen here you little sh you're only tough here where i can't reach you you wouldn't say this to my face you'd be destroyed so freaking hard i would take your life without hesitation i already know where you live this was just a test <laughs> yeah okay let's see if you're as tough as here when i come when you what, bro? When you what? You're gonna come on me? I've got a beast caged inside of me and he's about to come? Is that what you're gonna say? And I'm about to let it loose and rip you to freaking shreds, kid. Looks at you angrily, eyes turning red from rage. Next time, don't be such a bitch online and don't screw with real men. Did you just RP with me? You just put a little bit of role play in your threat? <laughs> So, when I was 10, I was caught stealing gum. I got cornered, and begging didn't work, so I punched the 25-year-old security guard in the weak spot below the rib cage when he wasn't looking, and he fell on the floor and was out of breath and I ran away. Alrighty. My elementary school friends saw this and thought I was the biggest badass in the whole elementary school, beating up adult bullies. And I sucker punched a 30-year-old security guard when I was 12, and he took my friend's skateboard. I was always very good at aiming for weak spots. I aimed my knuckles right at his temple, an only way a 12-year-old can really reliably knock down a fully grown man after all. It kinda stuck around and got exaggerated. It had an interesting reputation in high school. Stories got twisted to the point where people were saying crap like, in this great fighter. What? Friends telling bullies not to mess with me since I was beating up people older than them since I was in elementary school and middle school. I was above average, as I was always interested in martial arts, but the way my friends treated me because of that crap and how rumors spread, people believed I was three to four times stronger than I really am. None of that is true! I challenge any female tweeting unironically with hashtag masculinity so fragile ah! to last three rounds against me in a fight! We'll see who's fragile. What a delicious recipe. Got three cups of hate. A nice spoonful of boiling insecurity. The seasoning of a personal experience to justify the underlying villainy of an entire gender is a bit of a weird one, but I look, if that's your flavor. But topping it all off with a little garnishing of irony. I present to you, men go their own way. I'm like super strong. Oh yeah? Yeah, like I've bounced people's heads off my car. Damn. Yeah, I'm not a person to frick with. Definitely sounds like. I'm aggressive and I have anger issues. Y yeah I can tell from what you're telling me. <laughs> Why are you saying that like it's a it's a badge of honor? Like don't get me wrong, I guess there are some things that are, you know, they are bad things but you can 
own them pridefully. I killed a man. I got away with tax fraud for 30 years. Sometimes things don't go my way and I get really upset. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, so tough. <laughs> I don't think so. I practice boxing, and I'm six foot two, 189 centimeters, and 90 kilos. Also, I play basketball, soccer, and gym. I'm very athletic. Oh, guys, look out. He plays gym. Damn, man. What, what position do you play? Spotter? One star. Worst school ever. Teachers are always beating students. The students themselves have no discipline, always fighting and beating. The teachers are also not good. They don't teach well. Damn, 18 thumbs up. That must be a very well-known secret. Oh, look, the owner of the school responded. Shut up before I beat you also. Oh, great. Education system, folks. Hi, just a warning. I have a lot of pent-up aggression right now. So when we go back to school, I will be a real feminine puppy dog and I will not hold back. Oh, that's cute. You think giving a warning that you're about to be verbally abusive excludes you from the ramifications of being verbally abusive? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't give you a free pass to be abusive towards people. Remember, folks, if you're acting based on your emotions, then you're acting like an immature little child, and thus you shall be respected like one. Message my woman again, and I will frick your day up, bud. Oh, wee, whatever you see, bud. Okay. You will see. I get there's the trope that girls are attracted to powerful men and thus you may have an urge to feel powerful. But you're not showing power here. You're, you're showing insecurity. Which, I know, no, girls these days do like insecurity, so yeah. No, keep threatening him, man. It's, it's what your girlfriend will love to see. Once I was working the liquor store and a nerd comes in with a gun to try and hold up the place. I smile and just say, Is it worth getting crippled over 70 bucks? I'll probably end up in prison with you and I'll knock you around every day. You best make Make up your mind now because your life is about to change. He started backing away, then ran out the door. There were seven stunt people in the store who all started clapping. I swear these days people are purposely making these BS stories because they know, everyone knows how dumb and cringy they are. I go to Starbucks solely to see the embarrassment in the eyes of the grown man who orders a low fat iced latte frap foo foo blah blah when he looks up and sees me taking a sip of my straight black coffee with no cream or sugar. Wow, what's wrong? of anything but black and straight, huh? What, is phobic much? It's one thing to point out how dangerously sugary those things are, but can we get rid of this cult with coffee, please? It's literally a nutty laxative. You are not a better person because you're gonna have a stronger poo later. Unless you're like this guy who can shove it right back up his butthole. Just look at him. Look at him again. Look at his face again. I'm I'm serious. He looks like he can do it. Uh, who is this? Oh, sorry, man. I think I added the wrong guy. Take care. Lol, I bet. Freaking coward. What? Too afraid to make a new friend? Huh? Come on! Step up, bro! You wanna take this outside? Come on, meet in the real world? Let's go! I know a great restaurant! It's got great hors d'oeuvres! Come on, bro! My adventure gear. D what that is? Oh, okay. Um... I was liking everything until I got concerned over those silvery things. Though I guess it's valid being out in the wilderness. Yo, where are you adventuring? Syria? This is a bit heavy, mate. This is London, not the Lebanon. OP says, Colorado Rockies. There's some crazy motherfuckers out there in the hills. And, and no, I'm not one of them. I'm just the one you don't want to frick with. Mm-hmm. If you need to clarify you're not one of them, you're probably one of them. Your friendly cartoon pirate says, I don't live in the darkness. Darkness lives in me! If I wanted to hurt you, you would have died that day. I realized how strong rock wheelers were by playing tug of war with my girlfriend's Roddy. That thing would kill me no problem. I can only imagine the power behind a bear's bite. Nice post, OP. Oh no, you fool. You made a comment about something you're impressed by. Don't you realize that lures people in to then comment about something that they hope you're more impressed by instead? No dog oh, is killing no. me unless it's it gets too fortunate enough oh, to grab me squarely by the taken. throat. Also, oh, no dog has ever killed tragedy. someone once. You stick oh, your fingers cringe. into its Call eye sockets. Mm, blood, cruelty, violence. The most satisfying things. Not lying. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel satisfied when I see some carnage. Just sometimes. Does that sound psychopathic? Oh, I should add, and I smile. Are you done? Yeah, let's just point out, it's been three minutes between the span of them typing all that ramble. Like, take into account how long he was waiting to... Oh, it's just so pathetic. Come on, man. At what point in the text did they realize they just had to double down with their desperate plea for attention? I hate campers. Yep, it's, uh, it's pretty clear to assume what happened here. Though I like to imagine he just smacked his head into the wall and not his hands. <laughs> that way it's less pathetic and more so funny. 
I have been nothing but a good guy to her, and then you show up only to try and foil my plans. Uh, dude, I don't even like her, so chill out. No wonder your attempts are failing. You are a creep. You liar! <laughs> don't make me eliminate you. Oh, come on, man. You couldn't even go a step further and say exterminate. Give us a Dalek reference. Come on. Hell, I'm five foot eight, and I'll square up with anybody. Twice my size or not. I've proven many times I'll still run my mouth lying in a slurry of my own blood and poo. Oh, gee, I think it's cool, man. What a winner! Plot twist, those are both his alt accounts. If you throw a punch at me like that, I will eat it. Headbutt you and talk evil as I throw you to the ground before commencing to utterly letting loose what God gave me. Oh, yeah? What's that? Extremely long, lanky nipples. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ow, take yeah. that. Stop. And that. Stop. Yeah. Stop. I'm whipping you with oh, my nipples. Oh, Jesus, man. Is that milk? Wow. I'd be careful with that language. I'd be careful using Reddit. I know how to hack. I know how to hack. Grow the frick up. It's all fun and games till you literally get stream snuffed. You're 13. Shut the frick up. Not real? Lol! I happen to train in this art. It's as real as you get. The art is one thousands of years old and is extremely deadly. Those sticks are the real deal. Hardened bamboo called rattan. If you don't think it's real, I'll give you two sticks and I'll use just my hands and let's go toe to toe, buddy. I'll even go helmetless and you can pad up all you want. But 15 seconds into it, when I've taken both my sticks from you, I'm going to swing my hardest at your freaking head. And when you wake up bleeding all over the mat, your tune will definitely change. It's not realistic. <laughs> Is high school too rough on you, buddy? <laughs> it's the only way I get to feel powerful. Women reject 95% of potential partners on dating apps, while men only reject 47% of their potential partners. Yeah, well, all women are trying to frick the same five guys in any given city. This has been true since the dawn of civilization. Nah, bucko, you just got no hoes. Well, that's because I am one of the five guys, friend. <laughs> uh, sure, bud. Y'all, I just gotta say thank you to this one for putting up with my dumb self and all my poop and I can't wait until tomorrow. I love her to death. I swear I will kill a cat for her. I'm not gonna lie. I will kill for her. I would die for her. And if you got a problem with her or with me when we're her together, say it to my face. Swear to God, I ain't scared to beat a bum. But if you ain't got shot to say to my face, you just a little that word and that word and can go suck a very nicely shaped sausage. Oh, it's our friendly cartoon pirate. He's back for some more words Your of what- Your attitude may hurt me, but mine can kill you. So what you're saying is you can be hurt, hmm? It's pretty weak of you, isn't it, pirate? Hmm. It's pretty weak. It's pretty fragile. Oh, I'm sorry, Pirate. Are you, are you hurt by me telling you that you feel hurt? Oh, well, can buy yourself something nice with the five pounds. Well, aren't you gorgeous? Haha, <laughs> you're welcome. Missed voice call at 5.35 p.m., three hours after the last message. Oh, but don't worry, he sent a photo four hours after that. You shouldn't have double-crossed me. You've made my dark side come out. Do, do, do you see? Because, like, I'm, I'm wearing a little robe over my head, so it's much more dark around my face. I find it really compliments the jaw. A anyway, uh, I am an unstoppable force when pushed too far. Mercy is not in my dictionary. She's not even my main on Overwatch. You left 70 million dollars upstairs. Do you go grab it or leave poor? I feel for him, standing between me and my money. I have a long list of references he can ask about how that goes before he decides whether he's really about that life. Well, head up. Can we just exercise the idea of this scenario where Michael Myers is just standing there with a mobile phone, just going through this like little phone book of names <laughs> just to verify this guy's combat experience? Oh, we're, we're a headlock. Oh, what, really? You got a roundhouse kick on you? Nope, no kidding. Three ribs. Jeez, wow, he's got a kick, doesn't he? Okay. Oh. Stay away from my girlfriend. She don't like you, and you annoy her. Don't message her anymore. H who is this, and who is your girlfriend? It's Monica, idiot. What the frick is wrong with you trying to steal someone's girlfriend? Get your own freaking loser. Uh, um, Monica F? L like the girl I work with? L like the girl that I message once every few weeks to ask if she can cover my shift? Yeah, I know how guys work. You act like it's just for work, but I see in the messages, you want to frick her, and I'm telling you to back the frick off before I beat your lonely ass. Dude, uh, firstly, you're an over-controlling idiot if you criticize every guy she ever talks to, and secondly, how do I put this, I, I have a boyfriend, as in a relationship with a guy. Yeah, of course you do. You just say that so I don't beat your butt for trying to hit up my girl. Okay, here's a receipt. This is my boyfriend. We are in a gay relationship. 
we go on gay dates and gay kiss each other. And sometimes we lay in bed and gay cuddle together. Are you getting the hint yet? I, yeah, I get it. But do you really got to spill up in my face about it? I, mean, I got nothing against gay people, but you don't got to throw your sexuality in my face. Just saying, dude. For Halloween, I'll show y'all a real monster. Mm. It gets to a point where I just wonder, is it really anger issues? I'm also just, they don't know how to deal and talk about their depression. Like, <laughs> I've done selfies like this in front of fires when I was younger and like depressed and all that, just growing up with things. Oh, I hope this guy sees help. Like, please see help. This is not a weakness. Frick being the bigger person. Buddy, I'll kill you. Ha, huh, I study murder. I'm pretty sure I could finish you off before you even say help. They're like two dogs who keep barking at each other through a fence, but when someone opens the fence, the dogs just stop barking and walk away. How period pain feels like. In summary, painful. We just... We're just trying to make it more relatable for those who don't experience period pain to understand. What's that? Understand something women go through? Oh, I can't allow that. What being kicked in the balls feels like is 10 times worse than this. It's a proven fact you women really do overdo it when it comes to pain. Like, look at me. I rode a push bike into a tree at 35 miles per hour and got up with my head, putting out with blood, and half my ears was hanging off. And I shrugged it off and got a lift to hospital like it was nothing but a scratch. Ooh, you big, strong man! Well, if you could just do that once a month for us, buddy, then we'll talk. Question, are they the a-hole? Hey, man, you still have the MacBook Pro? Uh, yeah. What's the lowest you'll take? Lowest I'll go is $700. Hmm, 200 yeah, sure, why not? Okay, where do you want to meet? 101 Main in Burlington in about 10 minutes? Sounds good. Hey, I'm here. Cool, head inside. Into the comedy club? Yeah, then head up on the stage and tell your jokes to somebody else. Very clever, likely fake, but a fun story nonetheless. If it were me, I'd probably contact you with a different number and ask you to bring it to a different address for an extra 30 bucks. And probably even rob you to teach you a lesson about respect. Oh, you were the one who was personally disrespected here, weren't you? Always look at the red flags. About and phone number. When a nice guy loses patience, the devil shivers. Oh, not just the devil. We all shiver. We, we all shiver and cringe. So I was the best athlete in high school no one knew about. I played no sports after school because it interfered with me getting the ladies. But the basketball coach and football coaches begged me to play on their teams. The football coach offered me money. In college, the football coach saw me walking around and figured I played sports and asked me to come out to practice. I told him no, but thanks. He begged me 10 times my freshman year. After college, I decided to try out for the San Francisco 49ers. I made the team, but decided not to play as I made more money as a stockbroker. But yeah, I could have been a Hall of Famer in multiple sports. I don't want a $1,400 stimmy. In fact, I want $1,400 taken out of my bank account. I just love hustling hard and getting out the mud. Hashtag no handouts. Oh, we see this, government? We see this? Yeah, free $1,400. He's, he's saying it. Let's take it. He's saying it. Let's take it. My response email to Discord has been sent, and boy, was it a juicy one. Truth is, I like being underestimated. I gave the owner a chance he never responded. Too bad, so sad. Many of you, I'm sure, are skeptical of the power I have to bring server down, but I don't really care. They're in the wrong, and I have the knowledge and evidence to bring it down. I am not suing a Discord server. <laughs> That's stupid. I am suing Discord if they don't take down an entity they own that violates their terms of service and that also violates United States law. I am not a fraud or some bold loser that got his feelings hurt. I am the danger. Oh, a beautiful ending. Beautiful ending there, sir. By the way, though I'm bold, I am a powerful person. I'm not insecure about my hair. <laughs> what is this photo? <laughs> What is this photo? I, I don't know if I'm being invited into something that's a bit too intimate for my current comfort levels. Have you forgotten what it means when a dog shows his teeth? Let me break it down for you. He's about to attack you. Hashtag beast of birth. Hashtag calm before the storm. Hashtag rise. Hashtag breathe. Hashtag pain of being a man. Oh, look how much pain he's in. Oh, he's got so much responsibilities. There are people I care about and some which I won't ever be in agreement with. You are one of those people. If I could, I would wipe you from the plane of reality and send you in an ever-going loop of pain and torture. Do not talk with me. Do not look at me. And do not come near me. I really hope they actually know each other in real life so that the last few sentences actually make sense. Otherwise, I'll be honest, dude, you, uh, 
you are far too confident in your threats. Like, I imagine he just lives a life of constant anxiety for the day that you actually bump into him after he's asked you not to do so. What the I told you online not to do that! Now you're near me! Now I have to- I have to get serious! Four of these and or four volts plus Sour Patch Kids used to be my breakfast during high school. The highs were great, but the lows sucked. Having heart palpitations just thinking about that. Oh, oh, here we go. LOL. I consume on average over 2,500 milligrams of caffeine each day, and my resting heart rate sits between 38 and 52 BPM. And even when sprinting, my heart rate never exceeds 145 BPM, and my blood pressure is normally in the 90 over 50 range. I regularly give nurses heart palpitations when they take my vitals. Who is he? Conor McGregor, an MMA fighter. Oh, thanks. A temper tantrum throwing toddler with more money than brains. He'd beat the life out of you, dude. I don't know. I've been fighting for 25 years as a bare knuckle boxer and my nose is still straight. I'm also taller, have more reach, and like 30 pounds on him. Okay, can we set up the fight between McGregor and this random dude? Be forewarned. Anybody hassles me about wearing a mask is gonna get way more than what they asked for. Okay. I'm that one dude who never smiles. Nice. I've been betrayed and lied to so much, emotions seem useless. Nice. Shouldn't have reported me. Thanks to you, I got an IP ban. You really think I'm gonna leave you alone after that? Only if you find a way to get me unbanned will I ever forgive you. But Reddit doesn't have a way to do that, so you're screwed. Uh-oh. Also, you clearly don't know your history, so I'll tell you. 49 BC was when Julius Caesar crossed the Rubicon, which is exactly what you did when you reported me. If you're gonna ruin my Reddit experience, I'm gonna ruin yours. Oh, self-correction. So might as well accept it. Until all 15 of my accounts are unbanned, I won't stop. Oh no, I'm shivering in my boots. Everything he says is facts. The problem is, 95% of men, especially this new generation, are beta cucks. This is exactly what the feminist agenda is. They want to get rid of all alpha men, like myself, so they can further push their agenda. Wow, nothing's more alpha than referring to yourself as an alpha. <laughs> Hmm, the only threat I felt wearing this hat was from some foreign POS who was wearing an African flag on the back of their jacket. Seriously, he stalked me in Walmart, but he chose not to dance with the dragon. Yeah, okay, Billy Bob, you're the dragon, all right. Also, an African flag? Like, a flag for all of Africa, the whole continent, or was it a specific country? Because I doubt you'd know the difference. Bro, my whole team and I used to barefaced headbutt the other school's locker room before every away game for the hell of it. Concussions are weak sh I see it hasn't affected your cognitive ability at all. Let's just say if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. <laughs> I guarantee I'd tell you to shut up in person. I'm six foot three, 200 pounds, and I'd hurt you if you tried. Guess what? I'm six foot three and 200 pounds, and you know what? I wouldn't be throwing that factoid around as if it's gonna scare anybody. Because that 200 pounds means jack when you're six foot three, my guy. What did Joker do to Jason Todd? There might be something wrong with me. This just makes me laugh in a weird way and smile. Okay, buddy. Good for you. So I had an epiphany. Don't run me off the road when I'm going 120 miles per hour and you're doing 65. Cause if I have time to follow you, I'll kill you. The amount of these guys that just straight up say they would commit murder is insane. Why didn't I cry? I guess men don't have emotions. Okay, we can tell you're an incredibly funny dude by that profile picture. To everyone! Morning everyone! Sips blood. Well, it looks like Tom no longer works with this company. When you're manic and someone starts acting aggressive towards you, you dare oppose me, mortal? This made my day. I'm the type of guy that is super nice, but low-key, I'll rip your heart out and eat it while it's bleeding all over my face. So what you're saying is, you are completely psychotic and should be locked away from the rest of civilization. What kind of normal mofo says, mm, make me mad one time, I will eat your heart? To the hole who threatened me with a baseball bat, mine's better, you freaking muppet. Are you, uh, are you threatening him with a katana? Are you, okay. I'm just, it may not work out like you think, especially since you probably bought that from a gas station, and that false economy mofo is gonna crack right in half. I'm a 260 pound corn fed soldier that breaks punching machines at bars for fun. I'll gladly take on any 125 pounder. So what you're saying is, you're super buff, you can break punching machines, but you are specifically looking to fight people that are out of your weight class because it's easy. To all my friends, I apparently was hacked by some a-hole who has nothing better to do with their life, which if I had my way, I would gladly end their sorry existence for them. I fixed it and it should be okay now. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, okay? I actually got in a fight yesterday. Let's say I won, okay? 
Congratulations! I like that, though. Let's say I won. So you probably didn't? We're all just going to agree that you did, though? Okay. If you're not a police officer, you can't understand the pressure you feel in the split second when you have to make a decision on whether or not to shoot an unarmed civilian eight times. Yeah, no offense, but your writers and editors are idiots. If we put a training suit on, I could wreck them within 30 seconds, pin them to the ground, and take their gun away from them. Unarmed doesn't always mean non-lethal. Let me know if any of you want to step up to the plate. I would absolutely adore it if one of them did and he backed down. So I walked into a store, and the lady was like, you can't come in without a mask, blah, blah, blah. Well, she sat with her arm propped up on a box of masks. I asked if I could have one, and she looked at me like, okay. I'll take my chances with security. What? The f are you talking about? Do not screw with me, 2021. I've seen some sh I love the gloves and battle axe, my guy. How does that Mountain Dew Code Red taste? Yeah, I hate my school. Bunch of freaking ding-dongs. That's why I carry a four-inch knife around school. Maybe a small school, but there are fights all the time, and who knows when someone wants to fight. I keep a 20-gauge shotgun under the seat in my truck. Wow, your kid my parents warned me about. Sounds wild over in New York. LOL. I'm a nice guy if you know me and you're one of my buddies, but if anyone screws with me or my buddies, they better run. <laughs> cool. You gonna just stand there and bleed? Yes. I, I like to do that. Sorry. Ooh, this one looks like it's gonna be tough. Hold on. My mom friends is a SWAT, and one day my mom can't pick me up, so the whole SWAT team came to my school and my classmates were like, uh. That's low-key cool, to be honest. Yo, why do I sense cap? Hold on. What? What I call the logical exemption. Me entering a store. Employee. Excuse me, you need to wear a mask to enter. Me. Haven't you heard about the 90-year suppression order? Employee. No, I haven't. Looking confused. Yeah, well, the government is protecting 28 convicted high-profile files, including a former prime minister. Staring at me, looking shocked and confused, not knowing how to respond. Yeah, so I don't have to take orders from file protectors. Have a lovely day. Walks in without suffocation device. No f**ks given. I don't listen to a government that protects files. Suffocation device. Holy crap. How much of a do you have to be to think that a little piece of cloth is gonna suffocate you? Too raw for peace with society. Still too much love to be gangster. I created a paradise back home. Out here, I feel like some lone wolf living amongst sheep. You try your best, but you can't help but bite some of them. Where are my wolves at? Hashtag hustler life. Hashtag missing home. Oh, I'm sure that everybody that just read this post really hopes that you do go home and hopefully never come back. If you're not bleed when you leave, you're welcome back. I'm gonna need to read that one a second time in my head really quick. Hold on. No. It's still not making any sense. I'm sorry, we gotta move on. Only cowards use baseball bats. True warriors use their hands. Yes, and true warriors die a lot more often. You, sir, making these videos is an idiot that doesn't seem to know his rights. People don't want to wear a mask. They don't have to. This is a mandate in some states. Not a law, moron. I don't wear masks even at our local government center here in Minnesota. <laughs> what a big boy. I voted there and paid a parking ticket there without a mask. And if someone would have said something, I would have reminded they work for me. If anyone, I mean anyone, confronts me, I will tell them I'm afraid for my safety and I will beat the crap out of whomever and then proceed to call the police on them since I am the victim. Holy crap. Six foot two, 300 pounds, football wrestler. Okay, good. That's some background information we needed. So if your mask is worth an kicking, freaking bring it on. Anybody want to take bets that he's not even remotely six foot two? Yeah, I'm a asshole. Do I care? No, it's 2020. I'm not letting Timmy, who dresses up as a princess, tell me what I can and what I can't say. I think Timmy would kick your ass. Oh, this one looks like it's going to be a nightmare to read. Last time it happened, some older dude ran a red light and gave me the finger for almost hit me. I exploded and chased him through a small town where Ive was doing three times the speed limited and ran red lights was insane. Finally caught him and I was a 55 year old dude crying because he could see I would kill him. Ended with him finding the cops and hiding with them then I ran. Yeah, I I'm next level, sadly. I'm the kind of guy who steps out and kicks your ass, but you're not the kind of guy that knows how to type. He's really threatening. Even I felt threatened. If you got threatened by that, maybe consider taking up some self-defense classes just so you don't look like a pussy in the future. If that kid pulled his bogus plastic fire on me, I'd smoke his little right out of the house and onto the streets. What a spoiled bastard. Wow, big man, big man.